It's happening. Listen, before this episode starts, we just thought we'd make a little clip to let you know that anyone who doesn't know, we now have a Patreon. It is patreon.com forward slash another one podcast. And there's like a few different tiers on there. And we can go and get where you can sign up to us. And it helps us make this podcast. Helps us make it, helps yeah, us pay for the podcast. Helps us make it better. Helps us improve and put more content out. We've got big plans for things we want to do. Haven't we? Since. <laughs> yes, we have. We've got big plans. <laughs> we have got big yes, plans. Yes, Rob. Yes. <laughs> no, we have got big plans. And without without anyone signing to the Patreon, this will die. Yeah. This yeah. will go away eventually it's... because if we can't make it work financially, we can't the... keep doing it, can we? No, we can't just keep throwing fucking... No. And we've got Aftermill to buy and that fucking cost We've got Bob. kids to pay for. Yeah. Listen, we I'll be honest. Keep the... if, I can't, if I can't provide, I'll leave. Yeah. So... And we already know... You don't want to make an orphan. We already know how this... How it's going, don't we? <laughs> so we needed to be giving us something back. Yeah, please. Because we're bleeding here. <laughs> My kids are begging. My kids yeah. begging. So sign up to the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash another one podcast. That's it. There's three different tiers, loads of different prices. Pick yeah. one. Pick one. Help sign us. up. You won't even notice it going out your bank. It's a couple of no. quid. Less than a Tesco meal deal. Oh, well. <laughs> maybe more than a Tesco meal deal. You'd buy a starving just... man a meal deal, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, I'm starving. That's what we are. Look at me. Look at him. I'm do you think that? Do you think this? Help! <laughs> Another one. Another one. Yeah, because because that go. gig was replacing you, I thought could be anyone. It could be any gig because you know you you know what you're like. This is Jamie Sutherland, by the way, everyone. Uh, you know what you're like. That's no, the first thing you've heard. You know what you're like. This is Jamie Sutherland, everyone. <laughs> no, because you, you know do, what you're like. You are. I, first, I, I would first say, time he's ever been on. Uh, I would say out of all the acts that I know, you're the most broad. Right you, for, for gigs Well do you know what You'll do, you'll do hot that. water one weekend And cruise ship the next weekend Sort of thing You're, So when I saw that And you were like Oh this gig does that, Can anyone do it And I thought it was replacing you And I thought no Because like if, if if I don't know the gig I'm not, right. I'm, not I'm, I'm not saying yeah And then right. I get it And then I turn up And I should have been in the suit And I turned up with my sliders Knowing me Something like that no. And I thought Oh I'm just going to get stared at You would turn up for a gig In your sliders as well Wouldn't you I might go gig after this. What I'll, what what I'll is say is that as a long time listener, first time caller to the show, <laughs> I'm just happy to get 30 seconds in as a guest and not be called a nonce. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jay. Well, that is just. We'll get you in. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's Jamie's fine. a paedophile, but we're overlooking no. it. Um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we'll um, let him go. Um, he's one of the smarter <laughs> just nonces we've had. Wholesome. That's what I'm bringing. Yeah. That's, to thank it. you. And I think this, this is could the be it. That turns. That this comes this could be it now. Jamie, Jamie can't get into first gear until he's had a prong cocktail starter. Yeah. yeah. I, love a meal. yeah. yeah. I do love a meal. That's, I'm surprised yeah. the gig didn't come with a free meal, but that's, you know, you're saying you've only got six replies, and that might have a bit of it. It might have been a bit of like, I think sometimes it's, the, it's covering for Jamie so quick. Because the fee was. Like a good fee, yeah. People may have well, thought. What's going to be after dinner thing or something just like to that? Oh, God, no. That's how much show fee should be, really, shouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. To be right, yeah. let's not mention money. You oh, to oh no, don't want them. No, yeah. Come on. There's people in harder situations than yeah, those comedians. Yeah, yeah. Standing up with a suit and your sliders on. <laughs> that is, yeah, that yeah, is yeah, the yeah. modern day equivalent. We've got the chippy in your slippers. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Okay, no. I, I'm trying to think about. I've gigged, I think I've gigged in sliders. Yeah, I have done. Have you? Yeah. I mean, I've got to have nice feet, and yeah, you've got to have nice feet. I'm not gigging exactly if I wanted, like, but, but like, no, I wouldn't. No, I, I think I'd just be too self conscious. I always, I think it was um, not Jojo Sutherland. Ah, oh, it looks dead rude now. Like I don't know female comedians. Uh, female comedian, quite big. Joe Caulfield, um, quite not, big in profile. Yeah, yeah. profile. Not, yeah. Not, she. I, I remember reading something by her once. Saying she'd always dress how the audience are going to dress. Right. So they're dressed up for a Friday night, dress up for a Friday night. You should make them. They're dressed up for a Saturday. Uh, I've up for seen Saturday. promoters get upset. I, I, I've always done that. So like if I, yeah. if I go to a Tuesday gig doing new material, sometimes I will just do it in trackies and stuff because I think, well, half the audience are going to be in trackies and that. And I, I don't want to be going on stage looking like I've dressed but, up to make an effort to go die on my ass with this new material. But you've got to also dress to what they're going to perceive you as as well. So if, you, if your whole act is being a bit of a bum... Yeah, and then you're there looking dapper. It's like yeah. this doesn't work. So you've also yeah, got to dress a bit like how stuff, you'd though, go out on a Friday yeah. night, I suppose. Not dress how they would. Dress how you would well, go on a Friday. That's what I'm about. That's, uh, yeah, we had an act at the uh, cricket club in Standish a couple of years ago, and he went on, 
and he was doing all right to be fair. He did, yeah. you know, the, the act, I thought, so was many, he like middling, like his opening, opening right? So, he could, like, you go to a break, and my wife come over, and I always go, Did, did you like him? Like, you know, yeah. did, did all right. She went, Couldn't even focus on him, yeah, couldn't even focus on him. I went, What do you mean? She went, Did you see his shoes? <laughs> I went, what? She went, they were filthy. She went, £10 a ticket and you can't clean your shoes. She went, I switched off as soon as I saw the shoes. So there are some things you have to address. <laughs> I'll be in my head, I'll be there going, fucking sorry, cunt. You know he did dead well. But right. that's, but some people are like that though, yeah. It like, is amazing what will... Yeah. If you've not made an effort for our Saturday night, we've, you yeah. know what I mean? It's yeah. like funny. But some people might not be able to see his shoes. Yeah. Most of the audience aren't seeing his shoes. Yeah. How old was she? Is this wife? The woman. Your wife. Oh, your wife. Yeah. No, because it's that thing in it, the ick. Yeah, it's the yeah. Ick. yeah. Yeah, you the know what I mean? You yeah, the, the shoes ick. give me the ick. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's something to do with the fact that he was only wearing shoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's good, though. That's, that's all she was looking at. The yeah, there's the the some. Thing. Yeah, I suppose. Whatever you wear, you go like, what, what, at what point do you have to address something? Like, you know, the, the jeans, the new jeans I got, the, the white jeans. Sometimes I think, do these need to be mentioned? And I, I've gone, if no, white. I'm going to let them go. Ecru, he calls them. If the white. Ecru. You have to wear yeah. no, Do you reckon? If, if you're yeah. wearing white pants. Unless you're John Travolta. Do you reckon? Yeah. He, hasn't the, got the, he hasn't got the profile. Just the white yeah. jeans got to be referenced. 100%. Depends where you're going as well. Like. You wouldn't wear them to, for, for a gig, would you? White jeans. I'm just thinking about it. What do you mean? I've done it. Have you? I've done it twice. It? Where? Didn't even mention it. Glee and Frog. No. Died on me ass. <laughs> <laughs> Shat myself there brown by the end of it. Have you ever, have you got an item of clothing that you've wore for a gig and had a nightmare and then never wore We've spoken oh, yeah. about this. I've I, not. No, I've got I a don't. shirt have you? I've worn once oh. and it was horrible. Oh, with you, you'd have to throw away a whole suit though as well. That no, in a classic, no, yeah. I, just, I just blame the shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't got enough money to buy a suit. <laughs> That's what I mean. Right. You wear a suit on stage, you have to get rid of a fucking a decent suit if you're there. I've only ever not worn the suit once. And how did that go? That was it was fine. It was at an um, outdoor VW festival. Do you never feel weird in a suit? Say, so say we say... Uh, who was on last time me you and you done hot water? It was um, me, Smith, you, and um, was it Troy Hawk? Right. Something like that. I can't remember who it was. But do you not feel weird? Like, like Don't obviously, Troy, Troy's in a smoking jacket and that yeah. for a reason. Me and Smith are just dressed in like yeah. normal clothes and you're there in a suit. Do you ever just feel like odd? No. Because, like, and back in the day, you wouldn't. But, like, now, do you never just feel a bit like. No. No, do you never think? Do you never think they're going to be thinking, why is he in a suit when everyone else is dressed? Like, just, Tom Ford, isn't it? Tom Ford's rule. He's just. just I think says, you just have your thing, don't you? I think yeah. because I went out, I did like 14 years in banking before I was yeah. in comedy. Yeah, you were. And then, like, if mm. I'm going to work, I just didn't. So at, at the very start, if there was any yeah. old, like, photos of me doing Beat the Frog and all that, it was just jeans and a shirt. Right. It was right. Just a regular thing. But I never felt like I was in, like, a work mode. Yeah. Like, if it'll go up, so, like, you're getting changed. Never to, thought like you were being professional if you weren't. Yeah, yeah, and then like so, you just go, and then you just, somehow it ends up being my th thing. You know, everyone has the thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't feel. I think if I wore a suit and didn't look comfortable, how many times you've seen an actor you've worked with, and then all of a sudden they're on live at the Apollo, and for some reason yeah. the TV producers are going, "You better wear a suit," and they can't even like focus yeah, because they yeah. look uncomfortable. Right. I just feel comfortable in a suit. Well, yeah, fair enough. Like, because I didn't know whether to wear it for the podcast because like <laughs> you've never seen me yeah. not in a suit. <laughs> yeah. It's like Superman, isn't it? Yeah. Like Superman, he's just Rest got down. a little Can't jump on. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we always, I just I wear them at dinners. I wear them at yeah. everywhere. You so wore them at every gig, like I say, every time I have so a gig. Makes, yeah. You you do like sort of the dinners ones. Like, so have you got a, a whistling flute that you have to wear for them? Or do you, yeah. can you go like this? I imagine you've got six and you've got one that you wear for everything. You're right. Yeah. Well, do you know, actually, I've got, I've got, a, I've got a thing here. I've got um, a normal lounge suit and a thing here. What's a dinner suit? A dinner suit. I've only ever worn that once. And that was for a decent. Difference? It's with a oh, dinner suit. It's like all a black. DJ in it. All black. Just all black. There's the only difference is dinner suit black. Yeah. Right. So it's probably a black. Black tie dinner. Yeah. You have to bow. You have to. You have to. I didn't go to a wedding. I didn't go to one of my mates' weddings because it was black tie. The thing is, you rock. You rock up to one of them. Dressed like a bag of rags, you've died yeah. on your ass before you've even gotten that stage. Imagine. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're, yeah. No, you're, I can imagine you're that, finished. Like. You're finished. You ever just I, sort of try and go, fuck it, I'm going to try and challenge myself here now? <laughs> There's enough fear involved right. in just rocking up on your own with 200 blokes in there, <laughs> oh. seeing everything, being everywhere, doing anything. Right. Just, just, and you're yeah. eating with them as when well. When you're doing one of them, no. 
footballers don't always turn in a suit or whatever sportsmen or whoever's given a speech they're not always wearing a suit no and that's, yeah. the, that's the difference yeah, but they respect they... them yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, they respect what they've done with their life yeah. with you it's going who the fuck's this cunt who reckons he's funny yeah. That's all why the time at a sportsman's dinner you're sat on a top table and there's might only be mm. six of you and yeah. they're looking at yeah. you and they've, they've some yeah. of them have made a decision because you're there for two and a half hours before yeah. you get up I've only and then done, they're going to decide once. whether they, they've made a decision and it's up to you to turn it round when you get yeah. on, like in the first 60 seconds sort of thing. But someone have already got an opinion of, I thought he looked boring or he looked scruffy. Yeah, yeah, they just want to look at you. Oh, sometimes they want to actively <laughs> put you off, probably, do you reckon? They're looking at you going, I want to, I hope he dies. Yeah. And they're trying don't to stare you out. Don't sort like the way like, he has his roast. I hope he dies on his fucking ass. He usually think he Save the spuds to last the cheeky friend. And you make a decision of them as well. When you set up, then it's never a good right. decision. It's always no, a really no. negative. You think, oh, God, this, so you, oh, this, that, and the other. But that's where the comparing skills come in. It? If you went in there and just did a 20 minute alternative set, oh, yeah. you've got to get no, involved that's... a bit and see what's going on. And eventually, there's, they seem to turn around after a few minutes and think, ah, oh, we'll listen to this dickhead. Yeah, you know what I mean, and you've sort of I, got him a bit then. I hosted one once, and I hated it. Yeah, should never have done it. It was for good money. It was for a promoter that we know quite well um, from Warrington, and I don't know mm. why he gave me the gig, but he obviously you know what he's like. He just seen me do well at a gig and gone, he'll be good hosting. It's like never hosted in my life. Right, I just had the audience off. Someone heckled me, had them off. I think he just got in his head. He must be good hosting sort of things. Like no, I said, do you want to do this gig? Money was good. I was like, fuck, go on, I'll give it a try. Hated it. From the second I walked in, like it was, um, it was with Jan Malby, lovely, great. He was great. There's another Comic Con, um, ah, oh, you know, I forget his name now. Doesn't really do the this the circuit anymore. <sighs> yeah, I'm trying to think. It's kind of Kev something, isn't it? right? No, anyway, Where's he from? he's from uh, like Liverpool, Birkenhead sort of ways. From the Merseyside, not Bill. Maybe Bill, yeah. Yeah, could be. Could be Bill. Anyway, it was me, Jan Malby. He, he ends up standing on a chair to do the gig. Like, st- stands on a chair in the middle of the audience. Who's he? The, the comedian. Comic. I'm trying to host it, and I'm just like, try a few jokes, and they're just not even listening to me. In the end, just like, threaten someone, and then just move it along. <laughs> Stay there eating me doing anything, and I don't want anything to eat. I don't want to. I've got no appetite. I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to be here. I don't want to, why have I, what, I just there thinking, I'd rather done what, I'd rather done what he'd done. And then, but then he had to sit there for two hours after yeah. he even went up, thinking, I'm thinking, like, wow, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't. Do, I wouldn't want to do that. I want to sit there too. I'd say ninety percent of dinners are very well behaved. Yeah, and if you spoke as a compare, the room attentively listens. Oh no, these just ignore me. But so the thing is, sounds like an, there's a regular gig there, and the, I've got, got on the regular gig, smashed it, done great. Right, but like yeah. just this din- this dinner was. You just remember, like, unless to, to, to like young comedians. And I can't, I'll put you in that category, you two. Right. If you don't make it big, big, then yeah. this all is it. roads leads to dinners. <laughs> 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 you, might well, you might as well learn yeah. about them now. Like. Chicken and cu- curry, curry and comedy <laughs> nights, yeah. in it? Me and Hutchie have already <laughs> seen it. Yeah, Me and Hutchie have gone, it's the cats who come yeah. for us. <laughs> yeah. Sutton's got something's got to pop off for We'll be yeah. there having our scran at the back of the hall. <laughs> when did you, so did you, when you said you used to beat the frog, yeah. So how long have you been doing comedy? 2004. Right. So when did you get in the sports? Was it just something you fell into then sort of thing? Did so I started off. Did you from your background or? No, when I started off, um, I had no in- interest in being a, a comedian. I was just part of a Sunday League football side. Right. And we just do fundraisers, get comedians, get singers, just have, yeah. have Saturday nights where you just make money. We couldn't afford a compa. Right. Because I looked after the money. Because everyone has a job, don't they? Yeah. Because your team, you know what I mean? It's, Everyone gets a job. Ex banker. So yeah. I laugh, look after the money. I was in the bank then. So I said, well, we can't afford a comp here. That's <coughs> 10 pairs of socks. So there's yeah. no way we're paying that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then as the di- we had more events, we had more events, and I kept sort of doing it. And there's only all my mates and all that. Yeah. And then somebody come and said, we're having a dinner. Will you come and compare ours? So so then it, it led into just a comp here, And so there's yeah. no actual pressure to tell jokes. Right. Yeah. And then I started noticing. Like at the end, like I get my envelope, and then the comedian would get a much thicker envelope. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I thought that can't be hard. That can't be hard. <laughs> I didn't realise it was hard, yeah. but I thought that can't be. So then from and there, he's probably looking at you, thinking that looks fucking hard. Fuck yeah, doing that, what he's that, getting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then from there, I ended up sort of getting onto the open mic, uh, open mic circuit. Agraman was the first gig. Um, it was a just for laughs. I think it was. It was a. It was a. It was a competition that was probably the last night at the bus. Yeah. 
there and then they beat the frog. And then I got offered redundancy at work. I thought, well, I was going anyway, so I was, yeah, I was looked right. after. So I thought, right, well, I need to do comedy right. to the extent where I can get the same income yeah. as the bank. Right. And there was no way... <laughs> I was going to get that on the circuit because you you know how long it can take. Oh, you yeah, right, spot, yeah. You can't retain for a couple of years and take. Yeah. So how years. how old were you when you started? Thirty. Thirty, right? Okay. So then I knew I could. I knew I could stand up. I knew I could stand up for forty five minutes, but I knew I wasn't good enough to do the comedy clubs. But I knew I could do old school jokes like right. yeah, like the, your dad in the pub, sort of just holding court. Yeah. Uh, and it sounds easy, but it's not. But I found this pub in Blackpool. Whilst I was on six months garden leave from the bank because he couldn't finish me straight. Right. I had six months off at home. Oh, no. so every Wednesday, this fella would try out his new acts that he'd not seen this entertainment, yeah. agent fella, singers and all that, but he never yeah. had any comics. So he said, you can come and have 20 minutes here every Wednesday if you want. Just try out your new stuff. Just don't That's swear. Nice. Don't offend anyone. He said, even if you die of death, I'm not bothered. Yeah. He said, because I can't get comics to come for free. If I don't worry about the money, the bank's paying me. Yeah. yeah. So... Every Wednesday, I would go there to get an after-dinner set and a cabaret yeah. set. And I had, some of it would die a death. Like the, but then I'd drive home and think, well, the first four minutes was all right. And yeah. that little two-minute thing was there. So I'll open that there. Bit. And so. then I've got, like, six minutes now. Yeah. So I only need another 30. Yeah. And I'm, but it's surprising how quick when you go, because you wouldn't get 20 minutes at any open mic. No, never. No, 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 no yeah. yeah. So I just kept going and going and going. And then... By the time my garden leave finished from the bank and they paid me to leave. Circuit I had, killer. I had dinners. <laughs> After dinner circuit killer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dinners in the diary. Yeah. Um, and then I was able to go back to the comedy club circuit. Right. And then there was this big thing of Jamie's mainstream or he's not, which I can do everything really. But it was a bit of confusion at the do time. you still think there's, there's that now? I don't think people are bothered now because I think everyone's see, we're all mates and that. Yeah, and, yeah. And right. people know you, what... You think you've established it, enough that it doesn't matter anymore? Yeah, and people know yeah. that I could go and do... 100 women in yeah. an afternoon and people know I can handle myself yeah. doing my own stuff sort of thing mm. original stuff yeah. on a Saturday night somewhere so that's how it was so I ended up going becoming a dinner comic really professionally before I was Even a professional got... headliner I know, that's mad that I, was, I always assumed it had been the other way around sort of thing like you'd worked your way onto the circuit and then Oh yeah, these dinners opened up, you know, because like, because you get offered them don't you, you know, I, I, I've, I've been offered loads and I've only ever took it, done it once and you think you're always looking, oh, I should do that really. Should I? Decent money, that decent money. And you always think the money's tempting. And if if, if, if you're willing to go and do it, then go and do yeah. it, sort of thing. And then, but then, like, I always assumed it'd be that way, sort no. of thing. Like, someone's going to come and do this, and one's led to another, led to another, led to another, sort of thing. And you end up doing dead rough ones at the start. Like, right, you started rough. on the after dinner circuit. Yeah. You must be the only comic who's, because I'm assuming you didn't start on the after dinner no. circuit. So the only comic who started on but the But if dinner he circuit. started comparing for like his footy team, then I suppose it was always That's like. Just, it's, it's a natural way of doing building it. Building it up. It's, yeah. it's a weird, it's, pool it's a weird way of, go, of, of like starting comedy, you know? Like the opposite of everyone else. People start comedy and go, actually, I'll do the after dinner circuit because. I might, I, yeah. Some people don't want to do the circuit. Some people think too cuff road, too. Also, I don't want to be but asked traveling. The money's not good enough, sort of thing. And well, then, like that way, starting is going like we will actively have to go and pursue things. His was just being offered, and we need a comp. Yeah. Like, oh, I'll do it. Yeah. Whereas we have to, when we started, the majority, we're going like, I've got to go and really apply for these and yeah. keep applying. Keep apply. So we're well, like, compare was only, you just, only, it was only my own footy team, though, wasn't it? So when, so. Where'd you go to? Does somebody just see you at, at one of these yeah, things? Yeah, when they go from comparing to doing comic sets at the after dinners. Yeah, that's like, when I decided, that's when I applied to do an open mic for Agriman. Right. And then I thought, right, okay, I need to sort of become a comedian and right. do that. And then from the, uh, doing the open mic circuit, I was like, this is just not, no. there's no money in it. I can't make a living out of this. Yeah. You need to quit. Knew because I'd worked doing fundraisers and I knew yeah. what I paid comedians to do those 40 minute spots I thought right. if I can get them spots yeah then I, I'm already I'm up and running I, I've got a job right proper right. paid job so did you know people who were booking them spots then to get yeah well because I, I was phoning people you were to book people them. You started so I started phone. saying like well is there any little baby spots or yeah. have you got any like fish and chip uh, type dinners and, <laughs> no, no, not all dinners are yeah. three course meals no, some of them no. literally just yeah. 
Right. But then they go, yeah, all right, listen, there's a couple of hundred quid on it, do you want to do it? And you go and you I go, I've only got 20 minutes. Like, that. that's yeah. really bold. You make testing. it work, though, won't you? Yeah. You're, yeah. Like, you're like, I've only got that, I'll make it work. Yeah. I, I need the money, yeah. I'll sort it. Yeah. I'm not ready for this, but I'll fucking do it. Because you got to go at some point, haven't you? I reckon I was two years in and blagged a cruise. And he had to do a whole cruise. 45 minute spot and a 30 minute spot. And I reckon I had 40 minutes in total. <laughs> but we could both go on this cruise for a week. Right. Oh. <laughs> 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 They've been as in my life. Because everyone's going, can't wait for performance. I thought, I don't even know what this performance is. Have you <laughs> done a cruise? No. no. I, the thought of a cruise petrifies me. Because it's trapped on from there. From what I've seen, it's just, yeah, you've always got to be on. Yeah. Like, you've all, like, so like I can't like, I I can't have dinner and be like just leave me alone, I'm having, I'm having me dinner sort of thing. You've always got to be hospi- hospital, uh, hospitable, hospital, hospitable yeah. sort of thing. And on like does have you have you found them? Like how many Horrible. have you done now? Don't do cruises. Don't now. do don't no. do them anymore. Then about six. <laughs> right. Um, I do Warner Resorts, which is like a cruise on land. Right. Very respectful. You come on, if it says you're on at half nine, you're on at half nine, you do 45 minutes. It's cabaret style. Yeah. There'll be a band if you want that plays. So like normally there'll be a bit of play on music. Yeah. They have a full band who will play you one if you want. Right. There's all that. Absolutely get that if I yeah. was with you. 100% so totally yeah. I prefer to do that because I can drive home a cruise. I don't like being away for a week. Right. It's just horrible. You're bored. You're on your yeah. own. Sounds glamorous, but. No, you don't I want to be can't. spending your money, and yeah, because then I imagine like you just end up being like the little, like the person trying to, trying yeah. to get trying to join into the staff. Where you're like, like, what are you getting like, bladdered on your own, right, knocking around, around the, the cruise? That's the other thing you can't get bladdered because you've got to be on. You can't, be, you can't get bladdered. You can't. You, can't. you go in the you go in the crew bar. Oh, they, have they got their own little? Oh yeah, so like a crew bar, it'd be like say six, seven dollars for a pint on the yeah. ship. But if you go in the crew bar, it's like one fifty. Yeah, that's right. Sound. And they've got all the stuff in there and the tellies and all. And that you can go to the crew bar and hide sort of thing, and then just to go back to your room if you want. Yeah, if you especially right. if you've how, died of death. How come you've never managed to blag yourself a cruise? You just no, not wanted no, to no, do one. Right. No, I've do, I just won't be um, at this moment. In, won't be ready for it at the moment in time. So I think what? you need like a sort of a, a, a f- f- two sets, forty-five clean one, and something else. But you could do cra- yeah, cra- compare though, don't you? So you could just. Compare it for yeah, just, yeah. just compare yeah, yourself into it. You yeah. can't compare. <laughs> you can't compare them. Can't you? Well, no. just as in like you told not to, or no, it's just, just so a, weird. You it's, can't just, it's like a theatre show, right? So the, the way the lights are. Are you miles away from them as right. well? Right, they're probably like from me to Sam away, the front row, oh, so but, but they'd be dropped down. Right, right. But you couldn't sort of go right. We'll lose from here or lose from there, yeah. or right. if you pick someone there, you got to remember it's like a, a twelve hundred seater theatre on these yeah. ships. So if you're focusing oh, your attention wow, to Dave yeah. at the front there, they've switched off at the back row because yeah. it's like three tiers. Yeah. So not interested because they can't even see him. Never yeah. mind his answer. So you've got to have a 45-minute performance. I think he does. Emmanuel Sanubi does a lot of them. Does he? I've seen him on a few of them. And I thought, that's an interesting, because he's like a club club act isn't he and then he's, he's he's just done a lot i've seen him post a lot of photos and videos like, i mean i see that he put like a thing on his instagram of him dancing with all the crowd afterwards just like load of oaps and then there's just him in the middle of them all i was thinking like you wouldn't have put him on a, a cruise ship because yeah. he's in the club so oh thing. no i've done a cruise have you oh, yeah. oh yeah let's so, just come well, back from so. from <laughs> new, <laughs> new to amsterdam <laughs> you know, yeah it's yeah. 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 Hold, hold, hold to zebra there yeah. you go do you know in the, on, on the ferry P P and O and yeah. um, obviously I don't think they have them anymore do they? And, anyway, and it was um, so it was trip fest. It was oh, having, that one. It was Steve. having trip fest on the on the on the ferry going over in the big bit. But there's having a comedy. There's having comedy. And did you know the little cinema rooms they have them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. In the cinema room. It was fantastic. So you got fortune there. It was chocker, and it was absolutely great. Do you know you you either did there. You went. Did it go in there or did it coming back? I oh, thought you'd done both ways. No. No, well we um there was a few, no we just did going there and coming back and um because Jack Gledo was with us. It was, I know what you up, mean. Yeah, we got that over to, we festival. got over to um we got over to Amsterdam. Was Chapman on it with you. Yeah. Chapman, yeah. Jack Gledo, <laughs> there's a few of us. I think Big Lou Infamous was, Cruise, I think that yeah. one. Big Lou. And um so, and was walking around was walking around um Amsterdam and, mm-hmm. and Jack collars me, he goes, Sam, Sam, you know about drugs, don't you? <laughs> and I went I went, I've yeah, I've not I've yeah, dabbled. Yeah, I've done, yeah. I've done two rehabs with Sam Rose. <laughs> 28, yeah, so yeah, I know a bit about drugs. It's I'm thinking of having some, do you know, I'm in Amsterdam, I've never had them before. I went, what, 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 what you have to, I don't know, what do you think? So, anyway, I went to the shop with him, he was looking at all the weed and all that. 
So I said, you don't know. Really imagine Sam walking around the shop, dipping his finger. Yeah, 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 I said, I stay yeah, away yeah. from that, Glenno. Yeah. I said, you don't know really him up with the weed. Have some mushrooms. And he went, you know what? I said, have some mushes. He went, all right. So anyway, they've got what, 5,000 different types of mushes. And you've got this, that, tripping ones, ones that just make you giggle. He went, I thought, I'll have the ones which make me giggle. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I went, all right, sounds a pound. So anyway, so, so he has these mushes, but he's, you don't drink alcohol and you have mushes. You don't yeah, have booze, yeah. right? You do not have booze. You ever have one thing or another. Yeah. So when he say next, so he's, he's so he's knocking these pants back in the pub. He spilled these mushrooms down. And I'm going, Jack, what are you doing? Don't be drinking. And he went, boom, another one. Poof, and he's seen the size of him. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Boom, he's another very one. Oh, another thin, one. Oh my god! Tinny. Next thing, Jesus, what mess? He was on the coach, puking all over the coach, <sighs> but tripping while he's puking, <sighs> laughing. Then dying, <laughs> then puking. That's what happens then when you get an ex addict <laughs> to tell you how to take drugs. <laughs> I just thought it was. I thought it would just be like me. Do you know, yeah. just yeah. Able, do you know what I mean? But yeah, you've been on drugs since happy. you were seven. I so you didn't say to him like you cheeky get. What do you want me to be? Yeah. Do you know what I know about drugs. You actually yeah. went. I'll take you to the shop. I'll take you to the shop. Yeah, took him. Holding no facts. Hold, hold, holding his hand. Already. Oh, that was what you get. Because while I was down there, I thought we'll go and see the attractions. So some what the red light district. Well, sort of the. Well, we're gonna have to do all that. But no one had a pot to piss in. There was no money in the gig do you know what I mean as yeah, such and, and you, yeah. you travelled didn't you it's just yeah. a little holiday yeah. to Amsterdam yeah isn't well that it, was really? it you got, I think you got 100 snarlers right and that yeah. was it so we're in there and all this so I thought what we're going to do we can't go and see any big like sex show or go and see any not peep that, show innit would, couple of euros that. so well that's what we ended up doing the peep show so there was a, <laughs> so you put like 2 euros in or something like that Yeah. then the, the, this it. door opens like this pod then you get in there there's only yeah. room for one person the exactly. pod door's closed and there's this woman on this thing going round yeah. and round and um, and she's doing whatever she's doing, and there's all the other blacked out things there, and all that sort you can of. See stuff. the silhouettes of the other comics. Yeah, yeah. just there. <laughs> so oh, I've been in them. So you're, you're there like that, <laughs> scraping dog shit off me shoe. That's what I was doing at oh, one yeah. time with the train ticket from Birkdale to Ainsley. Yeah. Like, this woman stood over me going like this, going like this. What are you doing? And I was like, oh, give her a thumbs yeah. up. <laughs> well, it was dead quiet when we weren't in there, and um, just as it just because. Jack the little minge bag. I was going to say, didn't someone jump in with he somebody jumped, else? He jumped in with oh me, Jack. Oh my God. Jack jumped in, my little pod with me. Fuck I've been off. Someone up, up on a peep show. Well, we've got two for the price. One could to change your shift on the girls. Right, yeah. So we've got two. For, oh, here we go. So anyway, so and that's, but when, me, when Jack jumped in, as the door was closing, it was squirt, squirt, I thought, this is weird. And anyway, so, but there was, no one, out, there was no one outside. But once the show being over and the door opened, there's about 50 people outside right. just looking at me and Jack walking out. <laughs> oh, right. Like a bad Wolf Harris and that, do you know what I mean? Oh, my God. That, this, that does sound them dodgy. tight northern you bastards. Took for, you took him for drugs and then you snuck him into a, a, a you know, stuck him in there. show. We had a night out, didn't we, when we end up I'm just staying in the same bed? Oh, God, yeah, I remember that. Is it Bridlington? Yeah, me. We couldn't get room anywhere, could we? For some reason, you've been to Bridlington. I've heard the name. I've heard of it. Yeah. So it's just down. Is it down the down the track it's, from Scarborough? Coast, Scarborough, ah, Bridlington. Yeah, yeah. Like, and it, it's an old seaside town. And we had this gig at Bridlington <coughs> Spa, and then we been there loads. Of, yeah. We thought right, we we'll just get there. It's full of B and Bs. Then we got there, and said, "We'll just get somewhere when we get there," because we were going Bridlington on the, like the Tuesday night, and then you go to Scarborough on the Wednesday. Right. There's two gigs and ten miles up the road, isn't it? Mm. So you stay over. So we'll just get somewhere. There's no shorts. It's like going to Blackpool or Southport. Yeah. And you just go, right, there's one there. 25 quid was sorted. And they were saying, everyone had a sign saying, no gangs of lads. I'm like, there's just three of us. Like, and we're at Bridlington right. Spa. And nobody would have. You and Tony Simpson. Yeah. And in the end, we found this fella who like just stood there. With it. He had this really smoke-stained beard, like that, having a ciggy on his step. <laughs> we're like, mate, we're desperate. And he, we could see the venue from his... Yeah. And he went... There's three, and he went, yeah, all right. And he, he gave us the family room, and he said, and he said "You comedians are." You said, "Yeah, we're over the road. We're in there like in an hour." Yeah. And he went, "Brilliant, can have the family room." We came back, and he got the double bed for me and you. He got a camp bed out for Tony Simpson, and because he knew we were comedians, he'd gone and got his VHS cassette player and left it in the room oh. with uh, VHS of Chubby Brown left on the bed. For <laughs> <him>. <laughs> There's actually a photo of me and yeah, you in yeah, bed on yeah. the cassette, like Markham and Waz. You know what I mean? Did you watch it back in the day? No, 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 I didn't watch it like. I had to watch it just just, just for the whole. Yeah, thing. stick it in, innit? Bloody hell, fire. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you been anyway, Sam? Yeah, um, all right, busy. Really busy, really. Oh, yeah, we're having a juice, Sam. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, go well, ahead. You get, get on the hat trick ball now, haven't you? Yeah. 
Got the hat trick ball. He gets to take ball, uh, yeah. nothing home, but uh, <laughs> got to get a few. Um, I was just saying to this because I was saying to the other podcasts and the um, since I've been going on Instagram. But since you Jamie, don't read the comments. <laughs> yeah. Stay away from the comments. I believe you get I a made, bit. I made the mistake of just, I thought, I'll just, it's on to the comments. <laughs> and um, no, no, savage stay away from them. Yes, yeah, people are savage. It's TikTok, I, I didn't know, but you were saying that you, you get a lot of never happens, don't you, on the TikTok? Yeah, yeah because yeah. I suppose the story seemed that, I mean, basically, I mean, I don't know why people don't believe it. Do you know what I mean? I've mm. done two rehabs of time. I was 28. Brought, brought up it's because people don't see the context. They just see the crap. story. And I all think. that. And it's crazy thing. Back in the rave days, the madness, Hull was like the, like it, like the Wild West. And the thing didn't... is, though, for every negative one, there's loads of positive ones as well, yeah. but you're never focused on no. them, do you? No. It's like there's loads of people saying, "Oh, made the holes being seen." Oh, I saw some of the comedy lounge loved them, sort of thing. I sent them loads of positive ones, and he's obviously gone. Oh, I like that. I go and have a little look for some and more. The negatives. And then I saw the negative oh, one. I got out. Oh, yeah. We that. did. We were saying, but we did hot water when they did the live streams from the club. In oh the yeah. Oh yeah. And then as time went on, the technology got bigger and yeah. so in the end you went on the stage and this is like proper lockdown but we were able to work and perform on Fridays and Saturdays yeah yeah I remember the show and they put the big telly on the front row yeah. oh I didn't do anything like that with them and then you could so if you just look down the middle you just looked at the camera you're just performing and fine yeah. but at that time because it was on YouTube Facebook Live it was on anyone who subscribed yeah. the comments were going doof 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 and the first act was basically arguing with the telly yeah, <laughs> like just literally having a shout match with the telly. But he had that the fog, I, didn't he? Did Could he? hear the light bulb. Like, what is it? You can hear the hum of the light bulb. He's like, Hutchie did one for the frog where they say you can put an earpiece in and hear the audience, but the whole room's silent. And then everyone was going on the frog and doing well, but Hutchie did his yeah. stuff. Because everyone's like, oh, sound of staff laughing. You sound really staff performative. Laugh. And then he just said, but the the staff the, the staff weren't laughing at anything. And like, I think he said somebody just he just <laughs> somebody go like Fucking shit! Or something like that, <laughs> because you've got no. Well, it might have been Callum. Or, it was Callum or Hutchie where they just heard someone like. I was definitely Hutchie. Was yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Like it's just I I couldn't bring myself. To, I did one on the on the laptop, but I didn't I didn't do any like in the in the room. Right. I thought you did one with Rich Hunter in the room, didn't you? That was a Sky thing where there was paid audience and right. a few people on TVs, so there was a live audience there, like right. actor types, but um. But no, I didn't do anywhere. It's just me in a room and the screen. That would have been too brutal. Yeah, we did a few. I didn't do any. I was like, well, I, I was on my iOS going, this isn't what I signed up for. This is what I tried. I didn't try and be As soon honest. as I walked on, so the compared to who always brought me on, I walked on and I just looked at the telly and the first cop, and he had my suit on, yeah. white shirt, and somebody put, Jeremy Kyle's on. Uh, <laughs> and I went, switch it off, switch it off. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to perform just to no screens at all. I, I had even said hello. Right. Jeremy Kyle's on. <laughs> nah, I'm not having that. Where did you do them? Hot water? Um, um, the ones just in front of a TV? Um, what was you talking about then? I'm just going to be fucking... Sam's going down. I'm having a... I don't think Sam's... But you said, I said how, how you are, and then you said you're, you've been busy. Oh, busy? Where have you been? Yeah. Oh, well, we'll just move on to that now. Yeah, I was yeah. going to ask you about if you've done gigs yeah, he's in front of the TV screen. Zoom gigs well, I did the Zoomy ones. I did the well, like in the room when you're in the like in the actual club, or were you just in your in your? Oh kitchen? no, actually, I did loads of. I did loads of, uh, at the comedy lounge. Um, right. Yeah, oh yeah, they had. Yeah, they had loads. They was doing. Um, there was no audience in, but there was just strewing it from the own. So there was no. The, and actually, and they, and they had like a lineup on as well. But the acts weren't ready for this. Really, they didn't realise what they was coming to. I got and it knocked me for six at first. So basically, playing the comedy lounge, there's a camera on you. It's going to people's living rooms. Like, yeah. Put, like, you know, how'd you compare it? Being locked down. Well, you don't really. You just talk. You just air time. You just know, yeah. Like just sat there, camera on, just talking <coughs> a load of, load of shit. No offense, Rob. <laughs> and um, and, and do all that, but but. Did you don't realise there's not an audience there? And it takes you one to do it just to realise, oh God, there's nothing coming back yeah. here. Yeah, so they all, yeah. they all, the acts come bouncing up. How are we doing? All right, good to see you. Yeah, you know, fist bumps, all this. And and you could see them, it could dawn on them. Oh, nothing's <laughs> coming back. I'm just doing this. So you've just got to fill the time, fill the 20 minutes, just talking. Could they see the crowd? The, the, the no, there was no crowd. You, oh no, you couldn't see the art. You couldn't look at the TV see, screen. No, though. you couldn't see them now. They were just getting the, you're just getting the camera thing. Oh. Yeah, it was quite sort of. It was performing to an empty club. Yeah, so what yeah. did you do as a comper? Could they could they speak to you? I just I just What's the point of comper if that's gonna be no, there's no I comp just, there's no one there's I no conversation. Talk, 
Well, what they did do is after the first section of the first one, which I did, what 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 they came across, which we, what sort of evolved, if you like, evolved, was um, people started messaging on Facebook. <laughs> and Paul was saying to me, "Oh, the thing he said, give me mum a shout out. How was your thingy? All this sort of stuff. Right. God. This, that, and the other. And um, it was a woman's birthday, some eighty-four year old's birthday, and I give like did a strip tease or something for her. You know what I mean? Just to just, fuck, sort of, just to kill yeah. time. Do you know what I mean? How, how much clothes did you take off? I got down to, do you know what, I really thought, because I've been hitting the gym and doing like 10 mile walks around the park, and I actually, I actually thought, in my head, I look a lot better than I did. Right. There's some right rank old Kelvin clowns on oh, you know, bending, up, bending up at the bottom and all that, like yeah. a bad tramp. And I thought, ooh. So what, did you did you leave, did you leave your jeans on? Yeah, I left me, no, I left me, I just got down to my boxy shorts and my, so- you? And my socks. You know what I mean? Box shorts and socks ready for sex. Right. <laughs> were they, were they, like, leverage, you know? were yeah. they like trunk types or were they like baggy ones? Oh, they were, they were, oh, they were old ones. Oh, no. Do you know the, the, the Kelvin Clan thing at all? Do you know the, the, the band of all, oh, like, the... Kel Dover? Oh, <laughs> yeah. And there were eight, a, a, load, a load of us yellow as well. Fuck oh, it, like a Bad meth. <laughs> were they, were like, were they, were you know you get like the baggy ones or were they like tight to your legs? There was, there Why was, are you so interested in this? Because if they're baggy, because I've got a pair of like Calvin Clans that are like baggy, and it's like they give you VPL and that. Do you know what right, I mean? Like you yeah. can't wear them. So like if they're them, they just look slovenly. It's like right. they are the CK beefs you oh want to be doing God. a strip teaser. But imagine, imagine, right? There was quite tight. So you had the aluminous thingy all, all folded oh, over. Oh, folded over. Then you had a bit, a big white Darby Kelly hanging <laughs> over it. Oh, honest to God, that'd have been a tough <laughs> wank for anyone. That she was probably sick in a birthday cake. Was Elsie? Do you know what I mean? So oh, you I thought it. you looked a little bit better, but. In the reality, you were just sort of like a a, a, a regular look, bloke. Just yeah, looks that really is just look great. that is that is just desperate for sort of reaction. There, that. that's thinking this will get some at least. At, at least I know this will get a reaction at home because I I'm I'm dying. Yeah, I need something need sort of thing. You wouldn't do, do it in the front of an audience. No. You think there's other ways to get a reaction. Where always, you, it was mad because you were looking around people's houses for something to say, and I yeah. sp- spoke to this couple, and they were sat like say where you two are there. Yeah. And then behind them, you forget, you forget what's in your living room, don't you? And everything right. just becomes your surroundings. Yeah, yeah. And they sat there like you two. And then right behind them, probably similar size to that, was a big wedding photo. And they were sat in the same position. So <laughs> <you> were, <laughs> uh, right. And I went, I said, uh, nice picture. I said, look at you two on there. So I'm, t- I'm like having mm. a laugh going, you've not aged the day, have you? I said, you're looking great. And he went, oh, nice one, mate. Yeah, it's like that in my head. And I went, well, what do you mean? He went, oh, I went. I went blind not long after we got married. <laughs> oh fuck! You having you on? He wasn't having me on. No, he was. It was no. He's and a it, blind man. Yeah, he was involved in an accident. He was involved in an accident, but he was, But because he'd said that, his yeah. sort of get out was to laugh about it, he, and yeah. it didn't make me feel uncomfortable at all. He was like mocking me. He knew I was on the ropes then, so like he was. He just took over. That was the right. problem, really. That's Anyone hilarious. could take over because the volumes were all the same. Yeah. Ah, uh, you can mute what the mic though. You? Oh yeah, in the in, 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 wasn't it? I've got. I thought if you unmute people, they come through. Yeah, because I say what hot water muting people sort of thing, and then <laughs> yeah, if you spoke to them, they do, you, do you remember them. when Rushton's one got hijacked? Oh, and someone put the big fucking it cock on it. He went berserk, didn't he? <laughs> That's great. No, I don't know who was, was it. I think I've got an idea. It might have been, but I don't know whether it's them. I don't know. But that, that's I did. What God. did they put on it? Porn on it or something? Someone or was it started wanking them. Just someone like I can't remember yeah. what it was. It was but, a link to like well, a webcam. What James was in about them with the with the blind man, with the blind man saying yeah. that he, 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 that one that's brutal. But I've had to, I've had two similar situations to that. I was I was comparing a gig in Scunthorpe. And it was ch- chocker gig. It was nice, and I was doing all this. I thought this would be all right. And there's a bloke sat next to his missus. He had quite a bit coat on, and he was of a certain age, about sixteen. He was with his missus, but he was sat right at the end. So I said, "We're going to get this show started." So I did that thing. Do you know what I mean? Let's get the applause going. Yeah, the doctor thing and all this sort of stuff. So I'm saying, "You're going to start a round of applause off," and he just went, and he was shaking his head. And his missus was absolutely howling. I said, you going to set this ball? And he just won. I thought, he's been, why is he being awkward? And his missus was absolutely pissed himself. I said, mate, why are you going to start the clothes off? Anyway, I pulled his coat away and he had one arm. Oh, he had right. one arm. <laughs> just, a, just an arm th- and just an arm like that. I said, please, will you, will you please just... And the rest of the audience hadn't seen it. I said, please, yeah. will you come up here and just show everybody? He said, yeah. yeah so he got up and he went like that. You couldn't yeah. get the show started for about 10 minutes. They just, you know, <laughs> it was just ridiculous. <laughs> and the second one, the second one, I was doing highlights. I was comparing highlights in... Leeds, Leeds highlights. Remember, it was a good, yeah. one of yeah. the good jonglers. One it stroke Leeds. Yeah. The um, which which room? It was that. Oh Christ, where was it? Um, highlights in. I can't remember which room it was. 
It was a big gig. Yeah. It? it was it was chocker. As soon as I got in there, I got pounced on by these lads. I think it was from Leeds or the surrounding area. I said, it's home at you come. I said, yeah, it's home it's birthday tonight. But they give me a shout out. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is he? He says, um, he's just gone to the toilet now, Luke. Give Luke a shout out. I said, yeah, well, yeah, someone's a pound, yeah. All right, then. So I thought, you will walk, you will. You know, Do you want to drink? No, no, I don't drink. Like I said, two or three hours before I was 28, don't drink. <laughs> And he said, um, all right, don't forget. Yeah, yeah. So I said, oh, oh God, Beth. Anyway, I put up my hand, Luke. Do you know what I mean? So it's something to go at and all this. So I'm going along, going along. And massive, some was a pound. And next thing, so I've got Luke, Luke, Luke's birthday. And all these lads in the car, and I must be not 25 of them. Yay! But one of them just sat there with his head down. I said, Look, happy birthday, Luke. Yay! I went, Luke, which one's Luke? Luke. And they're all cheering and going crackers. I went, Luke, Luke. Anyway, he's not saying anything. I went, Luke, like that. Anyway, this young sort of skinnyish lad. They were sort of big lads, you know what I mean? Gyms and yeah. all this sort of stuff. He was dead skinny and all that sort of stuff. He says, my name's not fucking Luke. I said, all right, then. what's your name then? Oh, Brian. I said, well, why the they, are they calling you Luke? Because oh. I've got leukaemia. <laughs> oh, my God. Because I've got leukaemia. <laughs> and the lads, the lads, the lads were going mental. <laughs> Yay! Ooh, all this sort of stuff. <laughs> Do you know what was even worse than that? What he said afterwards. I said, he was not long <laughs> this left. This terrible. No, I went, are you all right, though? He went, for now. Oh. <laughs> and these lads were going crackers, smacking him around the head and all that. After the show, there was all picking me up, put a lot of shorts out, um, um, what they call them, shorts. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I couldn't drink them. Do you know what I mean? Like I say, two I mean, you could have been a coward. But and, yeah. um, and they were going, oh, doing all that. Anyway, so they, <laughs> they eventually gnashed off and left me. And I'm, so anyone who come to the bar, I was just giving them a shot each. Yeah. Just, oh, God, this compare's fucking super. <laughs> just giving all these shots. So but they're, Matt, they're, that second one particularly bad. <laughs> the room just went, <sighs> apart from the lads going, crap. difference between stags and ends, isn't it? The, the, room, the, the room went with the, with the fellow leukaemia. Yeah, you think just, the lads yeah, were going that bad? The room was going with the lads. No, they just went, it, just, it was like a... Maybe they're having them on. Weird thing. Yeah. That's fucking horrible. Isn't it? I don't believe. I've been to um, just on a completely other subject. Right. Um, you know, I was to be talking about the pub snacks for about forty minutes before the right. uh, user arrived. Talking about what's acceptable behaviour in a pub. Uh, Ferry was saying that Ellis doesn't do the snack thing. He doesn't. He was saying that's bollocks. He's had you all on. Right. But I was saying, but he's a penny pinching bastard. Yeah. Uh, but you were saying no, he, he wouldn't be bringing the snacks in, and I was saying I said I don't know. I think Mick just doesn't want to believe he's been had off for the, all these. Do you years. reckon? Yeah, I don't what, know who to believe. I now. don't know if you know. Uh, it, it come out to light. I went on a podcast once. Phil Ellis, when he goes to a certain pub, if he's going to pub for the pub with Mick. He knows what snacks they'll do. So say he'll know if the Golden Wonders or the Walkers pub or something like oh, that. Oh right, yeah. And he'll he'll bring the snacks with him. So he'll buy them oh, from right. the same So when he goes when he goes to the bar, he'll just. Out the pocket, yeah, yeah, lads, yeah. The Chris, sort of thing. So nice. you'll buy six golden wonders for a quid from the the cash and carry or something, rather than buying one bag of golden wonders for a quid in the pub. So he, so if he's going to meet Mick for a pint in the Red Lion or the Railway or whatever, that's a lot of effort. Isn't yeah, it? well, that's yeah. what we were saying. Well, I, we was, were I, saying I was having made. He, he could understand why I thought it's like you, you're not valuing your time there. Yeah, I said. I said how much. Like, if someone was to ask me to go to the shop, I'd give him a pound so I didn't have to go. Yeah. Like, if my wife said, oh, will you go to the shop for me? I'd go, that's a pound, you go. Yeah. Like, that's all it would cost me. That's what I'd do to stay at home. So and he, he just wouldn't have it. Ellis obviously has this rep now of being a ears penny. But he, he, he will not spend anything. He doesn't have to. You know, he's had arguments with people and yeah. staff about a quid for seeing a film. So we it we, we it was believable. Date. But Walked then Ferry date, seems to think he's... An extra free quid. For the, for the film. Really? Yeah. Because he had to pay a, a charge for being in the Leicester Square cinema. With this view card he had. So, so they said, because it's Leicester Square, you have to pay an extra quid or two, and he refused to do it. He says this is true now, so yeah. now we need to get him, grill him again on it. <coughs> and we were just talking about how it, 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 how Scampy on the thing well, actually, yeah. on the side of his jacket yeah, yeah, yeah. does he have it dun, everybody dun, 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 yeah. said that he's about, saying yeah, yeah. I don't reckon it goes that, I don't go that far and I was like that's worse though I'd, I'd respect you more if you'd had that stuff at home but now you're going out your way to go to a shop it's on your way to the pub anyway yeah, I'm not doing that but then he like, also ate a chicken thigh when we were waiting for the train with him which makes think it does make sense that he does do that yeah yeah because he ate he had a chicken thigh and a bit of foil eating that at the pub waiting for the train after him we were just like oh yeah yeah so he, what would stop foil. him yeah, yeah, he had the chicken thigh, and to be honest, it did not look cooked. 
He brought in the podcast with him a chicken thigh in tin foil and then ate it in the pub while we were I just wanted to train. mention that to you and then it's I just not from the that's yeah. Because some things don't right, you know, it's all right. If you buy if you buy like I don't know, a bat what do they call they have different names. Do you call them batches in Liverpool? No. What? what do you call them? We call them bread cakes. Oh, like a balm. A like balm. A yeah. They call them balms, they oh, yeah. batches in Beck and for some weird weirdos. Anyway, so um, but if you're walking down the street with like with one of them, that is quite acceptable, isn't it? Yeah. If you're walking down the street eating two pieces of bread, what's not being cut as yeah. a sandwich, that's not, is it? No. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah, well, the barm's got more purchase to it. So yeah, you're not well, you'd assume sorry. something, you might be missing something is in the barm. It's just very thin, like a thin bit of ham, maybe. Yeah. You yeah. want to be a You see someone eating a barm, you're there. But then a sandwich, you went, I think you'd just look at it. You'd have to have a, bit, a good eye to go, there's not an in that, in that bread. <laughs> yeah. He's a weirdo. Do you know what I mean? Right. You'd have to have a good eye to see it's that. Just, it's just one of them things, like you and your Chris, you can't hold them more than one. He, he goes to the pub on his own sometimes, and he can't hold them more than one snack at a time because he thinks it, it looks weird. They say if he went, can I have a pint and two bags of crisps? Oh, yeah. He thinks, Could you, do you think, think that's barmaid, acceptable? Well, I think he thinks the barmaid's going to judge him. So he, he this has been the theme of tonight's <laughs> chat. It's just what's acceptable he won't order two snacks in a once. pub. I, I, every drink, I'd get another snack. You could do that. Uh, I think that's weirder. You could sit there, five pints, five packets of crisps that's every time weirder. you go up. That's weirder. Well, I'll stop the crisp after the three. Bar made, no, no, no. The barmaid no, 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 right, going, okay. why can't you have a pint without a packet of crisps? So you could go Peroni, pack of salt and vinegar, Peroni, pack of cheese and onion, yeah. come back a third time, Peroni, no. pack of yeah. water. No. Easy. No. Three times on the no. bounce. You've got to order them all at once. That. I say, all at yeah. once, get your snacks in your first pint, and then you have your pints. But you've got to have more than one pint. Otherwise. I think, like I say, I think we, we came to the conclusion that you build it up in your head sometimes. Like what? Yeah. How, don't how even are you know being? You're in the pub. To yeah, be honest. yeah, they're not that exactly. bothered with what you're ordering. But I just thought in my head, it's just like another packet of crisps. Like what is it? It's a weird. Those go off something to eat. <laughs> Do you know what I mean, like have a burger and chips. This lad's got no own. Yeah, yeah. He just he keeps just to see, like when we used to drop stuff off for Tesco in lockdown, and people would like make a comment like, "Oh, it's not all for me." You're like, "Yes, oh, yeah." Right. That and thing when you feel conscious about you're what like, you're ordering, mate. I'm in this van for eight hours. If you think I'm looking at the contents of your shop and like, I'm just giving you the boxes. But surely and sometimes yeah. you've looked at someone's order and gone, that's a lot. It's Alcoholics do it in the, in the meetings. A lot of <laughs> so you know exactly what <laughs> no, they do. Yeah. You went, it's fizzy drinks. Like, fizzy pop. So, right, fizzy because pop. it'd be like three crates yeah. of fizzy pop. And all I'd be thinking is, oh, I've got a heavy and it's a But like, are you looking at the family going... You give them a bit of an eye, a bit of a stink eye. Really, who you think? Like, oh, it's for a party. This, it's for a party. They would make. They, they would give excuses. <laughs> we can't yeah. go lockdown. Well, I know, I know, I know that. But what I'm saying it's is, like, bird mm. Dior, it's yeah. something or like, oh, we're buying in bulk just in case. Like or a Christmas going round the corner, the van would be like a, a, a mobile <laughs> bargain booze, and yeah. because right. it was like you get twenty yeah. five percent off if you oh, bought start six or, bottles. We start ordering from November. Yeah, and people would get twelve yeah. bottles all the time, and they go, yeah. "We won't drink it all at once." I thought, yeah. "I'm not, mate. I've got to go to another yeah, house." People are it's bothered. But it bothers them more than it bothers them, doesn't it? Yeah, that's it what we get in your head person. about it. It's like Alkis when they go to shops because I mean I know a lot of recovery they don't give a fuck, yeah. and they go well, they, well. What they do is they'll go to different shops and, and what they do is they want a bottle of wine, but they think, oh, I went for it last night, yeah. so I'll go somewhere yeah. else from another shop. But they'll have this big story when they come up. They go, excuse <laughs> we can have a word here. Would this go nice with thingy and all this? And yeah. oh, they'll buy some. They'll buy You've some got no like, shoes yeah. on, mate. Or they'll, or they'll buy <laughs> Are you kidding? They'll buy some Are milk. You pissed yourself. It doesn't matter what it goes nice with. Well, that was the thing. Or they'll get the milk. And just get the milk and they got oh, oh yeah, <laughs> you know, get, yeah. Then get the wine. Yeah. Not just get the wine. Give it all. to the Hollywood. Yeah. Oh, no, God. no one gives yeah. no one gives you shit. I do remember when I used to work at a shop though, there would be like a woman and it'd be like every every week it'd be like, Is that a nice bottle? And they'd be like, It's vodka love. Yeah. There's no nice bottles. Just fucking take it and fuck yeah. off. A big just, preamble, innit? No one's asked, are they? Just yeah. take it, go. I all watched right. the woman in the Aldi buy a bottle of uh, gin and then nowhere you like really have to counter top it near the window to sort of yeah. like, fix your trolley and right. all that. And she literally got the bottle of gin. I couldn't believe what I was doing. She put no those water bottles that they have, like on yeah. the, of the big tube ones. And she poured it into there. What a savage! Whilst doing and packing. then fast, fastened it up, and then just took a big swig and put it in a normal bag, so you can walk round all day. Because people just she have... did that whilst packing the shopping up. Yeah, yeah, grazing. It's, it and is mad. Like, people just thought, like, you know, she's just drinking gin, like, and people just think, oh, look at her. Keep so the cashier's just, just there going, what the fuck are you doing? Well, no, I, I they're on the shelf. Busy? Like, like you say, they're just fucking going back to you. Know, oh, they're on the shelf. Oh, they've moved yeah. over you know to the shelf. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you finish up, put it in the thing, but then get over yeah. to do the back. Have you the been the Aldi? Now I recognise what you meant. I think you meant to be the Aldi. I've been on the odd occasion, I've been the Aldi in Bergdale. The odd occasion? Bergdale's got an Aldi? Yeah. 
God, Bakedale used to always play champion for Marks and Spencers. <laughs> Yeah, probably. They always yeah, yeah. Fan, fan. <laughs> Actually, come to oh, think of it, yeah, Bergdale, I know where, got a weight I know where the Aldi is in Bergdale as well. It's hidden. Is it's it? Hidden it's away. set back. It's in the middle of like oh, a house sure. in the street. It's opposite Tesco. I'm sure Formby had some sort of campaign or petition oh, cause Lidl's to, had no, to get an M&S years ago. Oh, yeah, they got the M&S. Now they've got a carriage oh, yeah, M&S they've got a weight well. and an M&S and... The little was going to was going up. We'd be with a McDonald's is now in Formby. There's a home and bargain there was, now. There was a maid. There was Can't maid there not bargain. to have one. There's a home and bargain now in Formby. But like the idea of just pouring that into it in the in the shop, that's savage. No, I, I, I she just want to get probably just want to get rid of the bottle as soon as she walks out. That's it. Yeah. Or leave it on the side. There's no way of it. Take the edge. Probably waiting to stop shaking. She probably needed it to stop yeah, shaking. Yeah, would do. Yeah. She probably think I, I need to stop shaking. So as soon as I get it, get it. I had a woman in my cab just, just during lockdown as well when I went back to being like full time cabby, and the only places that were open were like Asda's and stuff like that. Gets in my cab. Little, like, old lady must have been old sixty odd. Oh no, I think she must have been old fifty odd, but she looked about sixty odd, and like she forgets that like. All the, all the taxi drivers know her because she's obviously been in the cabs every day before the lockdown anyway. And she's going, to, and I'm helping her in with a bag, she's going, oh, I think I'm getting that Parkinson's, me, you know. She's shaking and getting that Parkinson's. Lift the bag up, six bottles of vodka in it. I was like, you haven't got Parkinson's, love. The Weatherspoons is just closed. That's all that's wrong with you. The Weatherspoons is closed and you can't have your fill. And she must have just got to the point where she got... Because it was literally when the shops had just opened back up as well. Nice. Like the, not, not, not the Asda's, but like all the other stores. It was like she'd gone to Strand, got herself the vodkas and just got and, and gone back to a flat. So I, think, and I remember I, I said, anything. do you not realise I've seen you outside the Weatherspoons every day? Did so, someone was, get shot at the before. Strand the other day? No, no, she one day the bank got robbed. Oh, I thought someone got shot. The Barclays got um, Did you ever get robbed while you were in the bank? Uh, didn't get... We had a snatch. So oh. if the if the, if he hadn't to snatch the money, the cashier would have been robbed. So what happened is, um, I was like an assistant manager. Yeah. And the manager had gone out. And this guy was paying a load of... Was it, this guy was paying a load of money in. Yeah. And as he's handed it over, the, the robbers thought, Now's my chance. That's a snatch yeah. then. So leaned out, like just bashed him out the way and put his hands and just dragged it and ran. So like you've got, and then after it's that, like back in the day when there wasn't like guard. Was the was there any sort of guards up or something? It happened too quick. It happened too quick to react because what I'm saying is now in the banks they've got the big thing. So you oh, slide so was, it under, don't you? Now I thought it's, yeah, but even now it's machines. No, no so you go hard. across now. So if you go across the counter, you know, there's a sign that says "Don't, don't put something here or something." There's yeah. red tape and all that. And what it is is from like that level. There, the yeah. th then you push a button. Everyone has a button on the side or wherever. There's, there's, oh, they're all down yeah. the shop. Then you go, Poof, and within like less than half a second, it'll go from there to the ceiling, an entire steel wall. Yeah. And then you can't. No, everything locks, and you can see on the, the and it says the police are on the way. When, when, sorry, and this is now back, or that, back in the day? Back in the day. So hang on. So you probably still have it now. Where's the steel wall? The steel wall is the counter. I'm sorry, I would be one of, have you seen, have you seen it happen? You have to test them twice a day. You, test oh. them, you have to test them before the other. How, how quick is it? How quick is it? Like literally up? it goes, poof. So it kills someone? No, because it, when it goes crush to the top, it, it, would, it would crush you. There's footage. You Google it, there'd be footage of people pinned to the ceiling. Oh, so it couldn't kill, it couldn't go and squash it, you that badly? Because it's about that wide. Then yeah, but the that, couldn't stop oh, so it that, that couldn't stop a snatch then, though still could it? No, because the snatch happened on this side of the yeah. counter and it happened that fast. But if somebody said, give us the money, yeah, yeah, you I could, could push the it, button yeah. and it'd go and you wouldn't have time to react. So when you get robbed in one of those situations, straight away... Are you told to press that button then or not? Like, what if I went to the counter and went, give the money or I'm going to shoot everyone else in the store? You wouldn't put anyone in danger. You'd never risk anyone getting hurt or what. Yeah. Uh, but in those situations, you have to go. Right, you go. <laughs> I right, don't follow everyone. this. You go. Wait, what aren't you following? Right, because I'm, I'm, I'm the, I'm the, the layman you of the pod, aren't I? Questions to be able to get. Right, so the thing's called a snatch. Is this the thing that was? No, no. About? Snatch no. is when someone the snatches, snatches the, money the money of someone in the queue. So imagine I'm about to pay you, right? And before you I hand like it that, over, and he, he just grabs, he grabs it, it and legs right. So I'm standing in the queue. I've got five grand here. Yeah, yeah. just waiting, waiting to get there. And he meant to pass it over. And then I get to the front now, yeah. and I go, "Hi, right, Jamie, there's the five grand. Bam, he's in. He's off. Yeah, before you've passed it over, bam, he's got it and gone. Then Jamie that's goes, a, poof, no, that, and then steel wall. That's a snatch, but a steel wall's completely different to a snatch. Steel wall, what he's on about is if someone goes to the teller with a gun or something and goes, gives the money, then you can press a button, and the steel wall will go up. Yeah. So what happens on a snatch then if he's he's got it and he's running out the door? He's gone. Yeah. 
them. Uh, and who's just phone the police? The bank will look after them. The bank of the insurance, yeah. sort of thing. The bank would they've just covered it, yeah. How so much in them was situations, there? Yeah, but go, then how much is there in the case? Well, cash. I know. About how much is there? <laughs> but you have to then big go. hands, you're on yeah. it. Big hands. <laughs> when you're looking after a shop like that, you have to say, right, no one speak. Can him, he's, he's, he's sitting there breathing hard. I've been, I've been, on, the other, I've been, I've been on the other side of that. Yeah. Well, but you have to say to everyone, Sam's been pinned to the top of HSBC <laughs> before. No one that. But you have to say to everyone, no one speaks to each Shut other. Shut over the top. Yeah, Two yeah, 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 yeah. And you have to give everyone a pen, and, stop me. Uh, a pen and paper. Yeah. And say, don't speak to each other. Right, you Write thing. down exactly what you've just seen. Because if people start <laughs> speaking to each other, then a character's formed. They go, did he have curly hair? Yeah, it was blonde. No, was it black? And then the, you get a, a mismatch. So oh, come like, on. Let's let's be honest. The not speaking was not to do with the character being formed. It was to go with, right, how much do you say you have? You say you have five grand. Yeah. Right, 20 grand. We'll all have one grand each and you yeah. can have an extra five grand. Yeah. That's why they can't be. The bank's bullshit. The bank's asked about the police statement. No, this is for the staff members so, they can, so you can give an actual oh, account. Oh, just for the staff? Yeah, to the oh, account. I thought you meant for everyone in the store. No, 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 just for the staff. Like the customers and that sort so of thing? So you can give a proper um, bit of information to the police when they get there. Right, I thought you yeah. meant for the customers. I was going to say, no. there's no way the bank's asked about that. bank just no. don't want you saying you've got more money than what you said you had. Right. Don't want so well, go on, you've been on the other side of that. Yeah, well, it was back in the back in the dark days before the two rehabs. Right, <laughs> and, um, it was going to go on this um, on this estate scoring, scoring some drugs. Uh, um, yeah. I was getting some coke or something, and it was on this like this bull ring, these masonettes. Well, how old was I? I was, I was about twenty three. Do you know what I mean? We were like feral, and um, not to this bloke's door I wanted. And as I was coming down the landing thing, these two lads was walking towards me. And you could tell, you know, back then, not being wanting to be thinking, but you could sort of tell they were dickheads and they were from other yeah, lads and other yeah, were dickheads, you yeah, know what I mean? And yeah. these lads had this, they, they thought they're not from around here, they're from somewhere else, um, do you know what I mean? So they says, all right, have you been to whoever's, John O's or something, I don't know what his name was at the time. I said, oh yeah, he's not him, mate. And they says, oh, where are you going to go next? Where are you going to go next? I said, oh, I'm going to try A, B, C, and this, that, and the other, C, 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 anyone there. Oh, you you know, no, not no, no. You're taking them around. There's obviously whatever. Oh, no. The old, oh, oh, but I mean, I'd said. I mean, going back to going back to that. I remember. Um, I remember getting getting coming out of um, Hull um, Central Police Station in Queens Gardens. Well, oh, actually, this ties into this story. I'll come to that. So anyway, so these lads were all right. Then they had a load of money on them, and straight away they went, hey, hey, "Give me eighty fags." Yeah. Went, oh, no, we've got loads of money, mate. We'll sort you out and all this sort of stuff. I yeah. thought, oh, crack! I've hit the jackpot. Yeah, I might have already had twenty quid or something. These are minted. These lads. So I thought, yeah, I'll get, I'll get in the car with these. So I know we got in the car with them anyway, driving about with money and all sorts of and this that, and the other. Anyway, we got sorted out, sorted me all right. And um, and where do you want dropping off? And I thought, well, I've really done well out of this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I've really done good out of this. So I says, oh, we need to go to the garage. We need to get some tweet and all this sort of stuff. So you know, get land on the stomach before the the madness starts. So you know, pulled into this pulled into this garage in Hull on Headham Road, real busy like rush hour and all this sort of stuff. But because I'm off my tits by now, do you know what I mean? I'm off my tits and sat in the back of this car. So when I was queuing, still nicks them out the garage because I'm a dickhead. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Just a bar of chocolate out the garage. And um, and that was it, really. And blah, blah, blah. Got back in the car and these lads are going to drop me off. As soon as they're pulled outside outside this garage, next thing, two arm response vans, arm response, bang, doors open, on the fucking floor, on the fucking floor. Oh, Jesus, haven't they fucking nicked a bounty? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I think, what the fuck's going on here? But these lads are shitting themselves. These lads are really panicking. I'm a bit off my head, so you're not... I'm not being brave, do you know what I mean? I was just like, off your head, you're, sort of, you're not that bothered, do you know what I mean? Anyway, next foot on the floor, gun to the head and all that sort of stuff. I think, what the fuck's going on here? But these lads... But what I don't know is how worried these lads was. Anyway, so they got us in the... Um, got us in the police cells. and You know, the usual story. Get you out for the interview. Do you know these lads are... No, do you know the <laughs> names? No, never met me in my life. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, we've got an. Ex the, I think it was only the chief superintendent could get an extension on your your hours. So I ended up being in there for I don't know a couple of days, forty eight hours. And they, they realised my story was true, and I didn't have a clue what these lads was. But what they've been doing is, well, they got all the money and all the fags. They've been going around knocking off post offices, and they still had a sawn off shotgun and Barry Clavers in the boot. Bloody hell. And I just happened to be sort of wrong place, wrong time, or right place, right time at the time. <laughs> but um, talking about, and that ties into sort of the, your grass. I mean, I didn't know him, didn't say anything, and that was it. There's nothing to say. 
But the, I got launched out. I felt shit as well. Do you know what I mean? Because I'd not had anything for like forty eight hours. It was fucking, and the and the sort of and they threw me out. They took all my clothes for forensic, and they gave me like this uh, this spacesuit zip up thing. Yeah, do you know what I mean. What the lens? You this little thin paper thing, and I had a bit of money in my um, property. And the copper just said to me, he said, you need to get sorted, don't you? As in, get your drugs. <coughs> and yeah, he said, where do you want dropping off? I went, oh, just drop us off. I don't, I'm not, not get, letting him yeah. drop me off anywhere. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And he, then he just he just reeled off every person. Yeah. He just reeled, do you want to go to the thing is? Do you want to go to the thing is? We'll drop you off at the thing. He says, I'm not bothered where you're going. He said, we wanted these, not you. And so, they're not anywhere, don't they? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that was that, really. One of very glamorous existence. <laughs> I ran out of money once in a bank. Yeah, when I was in charge. Yeah, yeah. You can only have so much money back in the day. You can only have so much physical cash. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how it works now. It's a lot. It's a long time since I've worked there. But I was in charge of this branch, and I'm watching the money go out the safe, and I misjudged it because you sort of get money in. You basically look at the statistics and know right on a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, how much you think we'll need, and how much do we normally take out. You can see all the graphs and right so we'll get that and get a couple of grand more just in case it's a bit of a rush and for some reason this money's going and you don't phone your boss and go gonna have to close why run out of money you're the bank so yeah. i had to phone the royal bank of scotland down the road and go yeah could you lend us 15 grand <laughs> and they went wow well, so i'm new here and i'm gonna run out of money so I had to go down. So if you run out of money, the bank then that goes bad on you as the manager. Oh, you've got it, you've, bad. right? Yeah. So the Royal Bank of Scotland. It's not like a bookies, is it? And yeah. like, you know, come back be, later, you smash it. Yeah, I've had, I've had before. Where I've gone to withdraw money. And they've been like, oh, it takes time to the safe to open or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's true because they have time delay safes. Right. Yeah, physically running. At my time delay safe was open with nothing in it. <laughs> it's not right. your fault if it happens, though. Is it? it is because you shouldn't. You should manage it better, shouldn't you? Yeah. You should know what you. You're in charge of it for a reason, so that you can sort of. But surely you would just go, would you, could you never just go like I just always have fifty grand, or you just said make, make it because like say you have a certain amount, you go like I think I'm gonna need this. Yeah, if you just overshoot that every time, and no. you always have a. Why is that because not allowed? If every, if every bank did that around the country, then the cash would be too much physical cash in circulation. That's not being it? used. Like it's like liquid assets, isn't it? So you couldn't have everyone just having. Like millions around the country, that's not being used. You couldn't just overshoot it. You keep it so. Is there flow. more money in the world than there is cash? It does that. If that makes yeah, sense to anyone I else, that was common sense. So there's more money than majority, there is cash. Majority of money in the world. If everyone went to the bank and said, "Can I have my money?" The banks haven't got enough physical paper yeah. cash to give everyone the money. I bet Phil Ellis wouldn't have made that mistake. What do you want to run out? <laughs> right. No. He's an old. Okay, so that yeah. right that makes sense to me. Then there's more money in the world than there is cash. That's fine. Yeah. Right. Right. So. But that surely, you know, when that happens, I've run out of money. Like, it just takes one guy who wants to come in and buy a car, cash the guy needs 15 grand. But people, you, you sort of book all that in. If somebody wants over a certain amount, you they book it. You but sometimes it. That, you could you could t- definitely turn up and say, I need 10 grand cash. You can't have it. You're going to have to come back tomorrow for that amount. It's because you're going to lose it. Right, well, yeah. It? It's very small amounts, what flag up, innit? It's like, if even though you're here, lads, like, who are just going to Spain or a beef for a couple of weeks, but they've got like three grand's worth of euros and they yeah. get pulled aside. So, what, 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 what's this from? What's it? Do you yeah, know nobody has cash anymore. Any money? I, I used to questions all the time, and the bankers have always been. I had it with the, with with laddies. I went to the casino and I had three transactions within like nine minutes for like three hundred and fifty quid, <laughs> and they just blocked it straight off. And said you've got to come in and see us, <laughs> and like, just to make sure that this is you doing the. And then she goes, the cheeky cunt goes, "Did you win?" And I was like, <laughs> I was like, sitting there like twenty years old, like. You've seen the fucking. The, you've seen me balance, and you've seen that. Like, nah, do you think that's a winning guy's fucking bank balance? You know you blocked me card after the third, yeah. don't you, cunt? Where have been on the roulette or something like that, smashing the roulette? Oh, when I was twenty, I, I, I got, I did like because I, I realised that the ATM I could only get three hundred out of. Yeah, they right. cut off, but if you go to the cashier at the casino yeah, and yeah. withdraw it like that, they can go swipe it three hundred, yeah. bam, bam, bam. So yeah. after the third bunch of three hundred quid, they go. It, I I left. <laughs> I think I left. I just left. I could have probably kept going. I left, but then I tried to buy something online, right. like twenty quid, and they went, "No, you've got to go in and see." I was like, "For fuck's sake!" So, so I had to get yourself. time to get to the fucking bank and sit there in the office nah. opposite this woman, going like, just to confirm you did all these transactions because it was like three, yeah. four hundred pound transactions within nine minutes, and then just as a little bit of light-hearted banter, she thought it'd be clever to go. 
How'd you get on? This is just like, fuck you. Right. <laughs> so have you always been good with money then, or just because you worked in a bank, you terrible were good with money? money? You're terrible with money? I'm not good with money. I told him you were boss with money. Yeah. I, said, I said, we'll get Jamie and he'll help us sort our money out, our, our business situation. I said, he just buys yellow oh, labels, that'll be it. Yeah, because I, 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 I'm sure I'm you told me this terrible, once. I'm say terrible with money as in, I was bank went out of money, mate. Yeah. <laughs> He's I, I, I'm sure you told me once, you pay yourself the same wage every week. Now, every month I paid myself so like when I started comedy that my sort of so doesn't matter how many gigs you've done you, you get the same the, money then, and then the rest goes to the side into another account so See, that, say, I that's, don't earn enough that to me is good with money <laughs> yeah so then after, that's how I knew, if that's I have how a hot I water knew. weekend I have a, uh, uh, the next weekend I'm very flush. that's how I knew I could be a full time comedian whether it was going to be financially worthwhile so that when right. I left the bank and did comedy I got paid off by the bank, so yeah. I did quite well with that. But then within, I'd say within 12 months, because I could top myself up from yeah. the redundancy package, yeah. then um, I had to be in and what I was in and at the bank. Right. And then I could sort of wait. 12 months, you had to left. And then you go, do you know what, this isn't working out, so I'll go back into banking. Yeah. yeah. Right. And within about seven, eight months, I was fine. I always thought you were sensible. I am you've sensible. Ru- you've ruined the I'm image. Sensible. You've ruined the image of me. Questions. I'm terrible, mate. I remember I, I, th- I don't know if I told this on the pod before when he when he gave me a, um, the last time he gave me a credit card and he offered me all sorts of overdraft. So when I was a student, oh, I li- listened to you to that. Yeah, you, you, I've listened to your podcast. I've listened to this podcast. You're dreadful. With yeah, money. Oh, horrendous oh. with money. <laughs> you know, like, was you? I got a credit card, so I just blew it all. I mean, why, why would you do that? No, because I I just thought it was their fault for giving me the credit card. The it's woman, not their fault, is it? It is their fault. If I'm standing in front of the woman saying to her, "Love, I can't have a credit card. I've defaulted on my last overdraft. I, 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 I there's no way this bank is going to give me a credit card for until last year. I only had a cash account." And she goes to me, "Oh no, no, I'm sure we can. Let's let's have a look at That's it." That's right. And then goes, "Bum bum bum bum. Oh no, no, you can you, you, you can have a five grand credit card." And I'm there going, "What?" And I'm like, "No, no, you got to be wrong." And literally, sounds you've got to be wrong. She's like, "No, no, because." Since you were a student 10 years ago, since then, you're just like, you, your credit's reset, and all you've done is put money in the bank for five years. Yeah. So you look, your credit's great. And I'm there going, yeah, but that's only happened because I didn't know. Yeah. Like, I, I didn't know that this is what was going on. I didn't know you, you reset. I just thought, I'm, I've just got bad credit, so I've never even bothered trying. And then she goes, you can have like a, a five grand credit card or two and a half grand overdraft if you want. And I was like, let's just leave the overdraft for now. Because I've, I've been stung with that once. Give me the credit card. How did yeah, you manage so. to get an overdraft? Because I, I wanted an overdraft, obviously, when I was overdrawn. Because <laughs> that's yeah, when that's you not, want one. Yeah, but that's not the point. <laughs> yeah, I, know, I know, I know. So now when, you get, when you're when you in p- positive money, yeah. then, then they go, do you want an overdraft? Yeah. Like, well, no, because... I don't need one. Yeah, because then I'll just there. think I've got seven and a half grand when I've got five grand. Yeah, customers come in yeah. doing that all the time. So yeah. Like, I need an overdraft yeah. so when I'm I used to do the underwriting for mortgages. I could underwrite my own mortgages at the time. So going back all them years, it was up to £350,000 I could lend for a mortgage. Fucking hell. And then people would come in and like, like this dick got, and I go, so you're self-employed? They go, yeah. And I go, have you got your books? And they go, yeah. Which and ones? Go, and, yeah. I go, mate, you can't, like, I'm straight away the maths in my head's going, right, three times yours plus, or two and a half times joint. Yeah. Like that. And I'm going, it doesn't stack up. No, no. <laughs> That's just what I put through, isn't yeah. it? That's just yeah. what I put through. You go, come on. No, but I can only lend on that. Did yeah, you, you ever to, just give get, someone? No. And here's the thing, this is why I probably end up, I end up, I would say I end up falling out with a manager big time and then coincidentally ended up moving on about six weeks later because right. we had a massive disagreement in that if it was a certain credit score yeah. and if, like, um, the, the value of the house to the size of the loan, as in the, the bank was never at risk. You know, I say you were lending 50 yeah, grand, yeah, yeah. the house was worth 200. Yeah, so you, you're, you're, the the house, take, you're always making a profit. Yeah, you're yeah. taking the risk, aren't you? Yeah. Why would you ever risk your house? So on that situation, I could have unlimited discretion on your income. Oh, I go, right. Is that still a thing? No. And this is what happened. <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> so, they, so they go, so, so for example, they go, listen. Me and you think the same thing. <laughs> Jamie, you just still know yeah. that. So they go, look, I know uh, on paper it doesn't look like that, but look, I've been renting and all that, and I showed it and pay all my bills. And I go, you know what, all right? Yeah, yeah, sound, everything stacks up. Yeah, that's all right, we'll do yeah. that. But then other people will come in, and you're just like, what are you doing? Yeah, I suppose there's a, you and have to I draw to say a line. No. And then you get an absolute gobful 
Yeah, I suppose you go like, I need to prove just for auditing. Like, I go, this is why I made the decision. Other than the fact that you could just go, if you showed that you'd consistently been paying X amount yeah. in over that, and they go like, but then do you have to go like HMRC records? And you couldn't just go well, off like records. bank statements well, did you have in to? it. Because I, because like back in the day, before I got a mortgage, I was I was getting told, oh, you, you'd have got one a couple of years ago. Self cert. You could have done two. You could have done yeah two different Self records. Certification. Everyone, so. everyone has two records. You have your record that you put through, and the record you give to the bank. Whereas now it's based on your, 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 yeah, your, your all that scrap and everything went to the pan when Northern Rock and all that went. Yeah, oh, I was at the crazy. crash. Two thousand eight. Two thousand eight. Yeah, just it is just that went. when it all went shit. The fact that they said we can't now apply discretion it has to all go through everything, the government. Yeah. And that. Well, even me, like my mate, a few, about five years ago, three years ago, something. My mate was selling his car, and, wanted, and I wanted to buy his car, but I just didn't have the money to buy his car. So I thought I want to go to the banks, get a loan. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I went yeah. to the bank. I had a chat with the bank manager. I said, I'm on a loan for the car. How much do you want? So, so, and he actually said to me, he said, you know what you're better off doing? He said, you're better off getting a credit card of that amount, turning the credit card, getting the cash out, which would be a small charge on, yeah. and buying your car with that. Because if you'll get a load now, we want that money back every, we, every month. Ba-bam, 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 yeah. ba-bam, ba-bam. If you'll get the credit card, so you might be a bit cheap, skimp one way, you know, for bit of thing and all that rate. sort of stuff. So it was actually cheaper doing it, buying it with a credit card. Yeah, I bought a Mac actually, with a credit card. Yeah, it was just better off doing that. Got the credit card, no percent. As soon as the credit card come, bought the MacBook, cut the credit card months. up. See, my wife Can does shit like use it. my wife does shit like that, and just set up a, the fact that I know the fact that I know it exists just would be in the back. Well, that of my head. Said, right. didn't that bloke said there was talking. Listen to this bloke on um on what, what social media or something like that, and but multi-millionaire and all that. And he just says he, he he gets everything on credit card and puts it off monthly. He said you just go with their money. Then that, that's how he. Cause what, that's what I was. Yeah, thinking. but that's because he's buying things that make him money. Yeah, so he's that, saying make money think, on their but money. But the thing is, though, if I'm just using, if I'm so, if I'm just using, I pay that. I never paid the credit card off now. Yeah. So, so, you, so you think, oh, that's going to go in the drawer until I pay that off. I'm not using it. I'm not touching it. So I'll just yeah, use but my. It's in the drawer going, but yeah. Sam. No, but Sam. I'm all right with it. Though. I'm not well, just. I'm not a mad. <laughs> I've had everything. I've had every addiction. The years, gambling, drinking, drugs, the whole shebang. The only thing I've not had is that shopping one, going online and just buying shit. Because I know it's not going to fix me. Yeah. I just know. I've never had that, and I'm glad I am. It's right. not going to fix me. New pair of trainers. If I feel crap, a bit depressed, whatever. New pair of traps ain't going to cut it. I know that. Do you know what I mean? But he. But then you think. Um, so I'll just put it in the cupboard. What use it again and all that sort of stuff. So you pay it off using your um your normal bank to thing yeah. your credit rating's not going anywhere your credit rating goes up by spending your credit card paying it off and that's why your credit rating goes up yeah so basically yeah. what i should be doing once i've paid that off and got it down to zero then i'll just buy everything on my credit card yeah, you... and go up pay it off my credit rating goes ka ching ka ching ka ching but that's the trick isn't it that's how they get you yeah. to you get into that habit and then one time you buy something you can't pay and, off and then away. now you're on a slippery slope or if something happens I, I get don't that idea think that big anyway I mean I'm not going to be I mean the only thing well personally probably might probably apply to all of us the only the biggest thing you're going to buy I'm not going to buy a car I bought a car on it that sort of nearly paid it off an holiday what what else is there yeah, you got, can always pay the thing with holidays now you can pay them off big? Big? what else well I don't know like the MacBook I, I, I went to buy a MacBook on a credit card and then found out you can lease them I lease one do you yeah, it's dirt, dirt cheap. You lease a MacBook. Lease a MacBook, yeah. Well, you own it. Oh, it's, it's mine. It's all set. But then there'll be an interest payment on that at the end if you yeah, choose they, to buy oh, it. It's all they, built they, in. Yeah, but if I, unless I, so unless I, because wow. I, I keep a credit card for the taxi, so because I've got that, it would it would mean I swap that every time the interest fee runs out to swap it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what I'd want to be doing now with my laptop. <laughs> it's no, no. different on a car, but I don't that, think that, I want to be giving... Oh, I, I think I'd best hold on to this laptop, to be honest with yeah. you, Apple. <laughs> with the laptop, <laughs> I was, I was looking at buying it. Around, <laughs> what happens with this leased <laughs> MacBook about the three years? You've got to give yeah. it back. Yeah. Yeah. Just let you know, this was stolen for yeah. three months <laughs> in the three years. Enough wild yeah. life on it. Yeah. Yeah. iPhone and MacBook, it. they're mine, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Them phones stay yeah. in the drawer until I go to the fucking grave. You tried burning this. They put it under one of them DNA like, no, the MacBook just gets used to the podcast. Right. Phone. My phone's never going anywhere. No, with the, with the MacBook, so I didn't want to buy it with a credit card. So I thought, oh, look, I'm just paying it monthly, and then the interest 
with, with the interest in that and all that bollocks or if you want to pay it over three three years or two years interest free it's this much a month and three years with interest this much a month and then it was literally less than half the price right to just lease it for three years and then get a new one in three years but you'll have to give it back to them in three years that, yeah, yeah. But, I, but in three That's years time the, the market's yeah. going to be if you're on too the, old for what probably what I want to do with it I know but yeah Mate, I'm not judging. If you get it on the, if you get it on the well, drip, you're giving that back, Jamie. Yeah. If you get it on the yeah. drip, it's going to cut. It's like when you get a mobile phone. I'm not I'm more on about. I'm more on about the financial implications. I'm on about yeah. the content. Yeah, yeah but it's like, no, no, listen, I've got, yeah. I've got my phone. For, for, for all that stuff the MacBook yeah, the link actually, mate the link and they've got a separate hard drive no, airdrop mate they, no, they'll have your thing it's separate I've got, I'm Samsung that's why the only Apple product I have if you is believe Apple Mac. and Samsung are talking to each other mate then you're more stupid than you <laughs> okay, no. same factory it's the same, same fucking factory. thing mate it's all linked listen it's just your it's algorithm's just, yeah. done mate it's just a podcast they've tricked you there they've leased you oh mate you've been so you, you buy that you buy technology yeah, and it's yours white zip up Suits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're Getting buried with you. You buried morning. with yeah. them. Oh. Jesus, what? So what's it's a lease in a MacBook? So how much is that a month or what's it's this worth? 30, Thirty quid a month, something like that. And then after three, is it three years or three, three years? Get a new one. Then, isn't it? Just like same as a car, yeah. And it was going to cost me seventy five quid. So at the end of it, so if you want to purchase it, is it just the cost of a MacBook? If you go, this is enough now. So have you been leasing well, for know, ten that, years? I don't know. They probably, probably you probably keep it off me. Did you know because this is getting a bit busy now? This in another one podcast. Yeah. It, you've sort of shoe on this in here. You one of the fucking influencers now. Oh, oh yeah. they, 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 they Apple lead us to fuck. I had it on that MacBook. So that's you know what will happen at the end. Like a car, they'll say, give it back. And we'll give you a new one, and we're all done. That's what the uh, or they'll say. Do you want it for three hundred quid? Yeah, probably. Well, isn't that what happens with a, a lease car anyway? Yeah, yeah. yeah same, so, same will be with that because so, they'll only sell it in like CEX or something. Yeah. So that's just so every three years, just get a new one. Uh no, nah, I want to keep me. I've, I'll, I'll just. What are you doing on on, on your <laughs> nothing? Laptops? Nothing. I just don't like giving technology back once I've had it. In case yeah, some fucker does something. No, all them iPhones. Oh, can, can, oh. Can, can, oh <laughs> Can I have your iPhone now? You're not using it. So, no, stay it in the bag. It's paved. Works fine, yeah. but you're not having it. Yeah. <laughs> There'll be something that links somehow, and then you'll have it. Like, what's this? You don't trust any technology at all, do you? Absolutely none of it, mate. Oh. But I need it. You need it, don't you? You do need it. Oh. Leasing a MacBook? No, no. So do you ever give any dodgy loans out then, or do you ever have any no. proposition yet? 100%. Where are you from in Liverpool? Kirby. Hundred uh, percent. You could you must, have, you must, back. You, you must have stayed away from a lot of friends when you were banking. Then, well, I don't like, know a single friend who wouldn't have gone. Go on. You can't because everything's written down. So everything is written down as to why you give someone money mm, or why yeah. it is an investment. So and you have to do a report and all that, and then it sort of goes away, and it only ever comes back out. Say, well, every so every so many are checked anyway, randomly. Yeah. So oh, tick that, so tick that. <laughs> and then if someone was getting repossessed or something and they and the customer yeah. went, Well, I told him I couldn't afford it. Yeah. Everything stayed just to say why you lent them and I, I, there's not one person I lent money to that couldn't afford it. If you go uh <laughs> to somebody who you know <laughs> Yeah, this is what he says on the podcast, mate. You yeah, know I mean? if yeah. you go to somebody it's being, like because it's being recorded, an organisation, not a cousin, not an uncle, no, no one, right? No. So if oh, I, God, look at his face. If There's I, no chance. He's from Kirby, lad. I said he's from Kirby. Well, I can't talk to any of his family. There's no chance. If I knew my uncle was a banker, and I'm not getting a little. Let's, come on, you know, you it's, know, come on, right? So you know, if you go, if you, if you try and get it yourself, they go like, right, I want to see all this. But if you went through like an organisation, who you might go like. You know, like somebody who would negotiate, yeah, like yeah. they would go, we've done the checks, and then you go, oh, okay, and then they give you it, but oh. then you go, Did you? I'd have, I would ask for, ex if I But are their mortgages that, being passed now, that shouldn't be? I very much doubt it these days. Mm. Unbelievable. Yeah. It's tighter than ever Am I, Yeah, because when we went for our mortgage, my wife's credit was incredible. Oh, tr but tr I would see it? people come in, because I'd say, right, I need, you to, I need to know where you've lived for the last couple of years, Yeah, so you can check. And you go, this isn't right. So then I'd ask for random identification. So I go, I would go, I want passport, I want driver's license and a utility bill. I'd ask for random things all yeah. the time. And then I would go back and check like the if there was any other addresses, like in the emergency section of a passport or whether this other thing I go, Oh, they never declared that address there. So when we're going, I go, is that address there? Like 
Well, when did you move out of this address? And they go, well, that's just my mum's. I live Come on, Jamie, months. play the game. Hell, hell, Jamie. We'll just try to get a fucking gaffy. It's money, is it? I don't know, like that. I mean, get out, lad. I've had enough of this, though. <laughs> fucking hell. Get Steve your Royal money. got a fucking house. Listen, if you, do you know what? what bank did you work at? I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? You must have been miles away it's from where you live. Do you know what the best way it's to get money? I don't know. It's, it's, I want to know where, where in the area compared to where he lived. The best way of getting money from a bank is going in and being dead straight and going, there it all is, there's the problems, that's all fixed, that, 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 and yeah. that. When you start adding stuff or stuff starts popping up, I'll be like that. I've got a screen there and I can see like <laughs> loads of red and I go, any problems with credit in the past? No credit <laughs> at all, mate. No, um, but, but, but you say that, go and be and honest. I, and I'm if, looking at it. If you went in and were just were honest. I'd go, right, we've got a rationale about it. Right, but then you... Yeah, but I was honest, and she gave me a five grand credit card, and I said to her, I've defaulted... No, but if you go, I... listen, I'm getting this much from this, 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 and this, Yeah. here's the evidence. Yeah. It's just not legit. And... <laughs> Hypothetically, if I did that, I went... So say you're getting it from uh, drugs. Yeah. And you were just getting... I've got regular cash payments coming in that well, are being gifted write to me. I can't on a sheet of paper, can I? No, no. but if he nah, goes... Yeah, but you can write regular cash yeah. payments, can't you? If, he, if it was going when in. I, when I got that credit card, she took Skybet as an income. <laughs> she did. She said, Skybet. She was like, oh, plus, 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 plus. We can count that as income. Because it's so regular. Skybet as a fucking oh, income. What about, I, I think because I, I had a good ah, three months. Here's an idea. You deposit money from another account into Skybet and then you cash into somebody else's account and then you cash that out. Out of yours without betting, they don't know it's not from. So, like, say I put you guys give us your sky bet login details, and I put five hundred quid my, grand into my sky bet. Into your, withdraw he it. withdraws it into his account. Yeah, they have to contact the financial services to go. Someone's putting money into your account, not betting with you it. Can, you either can afford it or you can't. You know what I mean? Yeah, but there's plenty of people that can afford certain things, and yeah, they just no, haven't got the paperwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You couldn't tell the truth when you, you need to the see me mate next door for that. Yeah, you couldn't yeah. tell. Yeah, when you went to the when you went, do you, remember, you won't remember this, Rob, before your time. But when you you, had to, you you could go to the door for a crisis loan. I, so it was before my time, but my, I know could, yeah, you could, did yeah, it, yeah, you could go to the door for a crisis Credit loan, union. but you had to have a different excuse every time. So you usually say, "What happened? Well, I got my dorm with this morning. Yeah, I went to bought loads of frozen food, put it in my free in my freezer. My leck has gone off all the frozen foods, but you'd have to have a different excuse yeah. every time, every right. time, every time to get a crisis loan. And the year like sometimes seventy, eighty quid. You have to queue up all day. No one had any decent idea yeah. then. And there's me and our me and our George. So obviously, um, run the doll. You know, ducking and diving. Yeah. And went for the, went to get this <coughs> went to get this crisis loan. So I thought, oh, got the last one. You did. So, short time to our kids, you know what I mean? So, we're going through the stages, rattling and shaking, need a drink, need drugs, need everything, do you know what I mean? Proper down on our luck. And then um, said, so we put the request in for the council's loan. I don't know what happened. He said he's, he said he's, he had no dog food and something yeah. happened. And so, he didn't even have a dog, do you know what I mean? And all this. So, so and then the woman called his name up and said, Mr. Harland. He said, yeah. And he said, um, yes, um, we're going to give a a crisis loan this is the last one you'll be getting but you can have one more on this occasion he said oh, how, how come what's going on he said we've looked through the system and you owe us £2,500 in previous crisis loans and he went how much he went £2,500 and he goes what you lent me all that for you know I'm out of work do you know what I mean <laughs> yeah. the point. do you know what I mean <laughs> and, the, and I had to pay man back well let me just let me see um, 26 36 Seventeen years later, they call that they call that in and out. Did they? Seventeen years later. That's that so isn't that written off, off though? No, it was never written off. I had to, I had to pay that. I had to pay that. They the came eventually. For Funny because you just said about your brother. Then I never, I never told you that. So I've got an identical twin. So we would often get our records mixed up. Right. All the, all the time. Like I've been the dentist like years ago when it was just paper stuff and they've looked yeah. amused right. because the tooths be turned. <laughs> right. and I was like, he came to me very first gig at the Frog and Bucket, my brother. Yeah. When I did uh, Beat the Frog. And we'd all there with your mates. Dan Nightingale was comparing big, right. big, spiky ear. Oh, yeah. Right. On and all that. And I was on after the break. And then my brother's like, ah, oh, on the ale. I was drinking water, like thinking, just just do well, just do well. You've got your five minutes, you've got nothing else. Nobody heckle. I've got five minutes, that's it. I'm going to press play, I'm going to do it. Da -da -da. And then the break, my brother goes, I'm, I'm going out, I'm going out. So I'm, like, I'm on next, I'm on next. And he goes to me, mate, he goes, 
I've seen in his kitchen what he's about to do. <laughs> yeah. When he dies on his ass, I don't want anyone in here thinking I'm him. Right. <laughs> so he went outside. I've seen what he's about. Did you practice it in front of him? <laughs> yeah, he was going. Oh, fucking hell, Jamie. <laughs> no, it was on a sheet of paper. And we read it. You didn't yeah. actually say, sit down and do me no, set to you. No, but it was all there. Yeah. Nico, I've like, seen what he's about to do. <laughs> no cunt thinking of it. That's funny, that. Yeah, I've seen what he's about to do, and, and I'm not going to be in this. I, I, no one's thinking I'm him. Yeah, that I've is. Been, how'd you get on? I did all right. I got through yeah. the fire. Right. And what did that. he say about that then? He, he just going, walked back in, didn't he? High five and everyone. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Literally, like just like yeah. Yeah. like a penalty <laughs> shooter. Yeah. Yeah. He's got that crouched down. The bouncer yeah. 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 probably went. He's on. Bam, bam, bam. How far have you gone with the swim thing? Like my my mates are twins and. I know it's probably shouldn't say this annoyed. publicly, but one of them's currently banned from driving. Just, oh, but you just, just, just use the one's license. No, he did my. Uh, we had a job on the milk in Kirby right when you were a kid. That was yeah. like the premium job, the milk, just to get up there and all that. And I couldn't go. And if you never turned up, <coughs> yeah, uh, loser. Yeah, so he went in for me. Ah, right, just okay, did it and all that. And then there was a. T- I would often go into college, yeah, and just walk straight to the lecture and go. Jamie's not coming in today. He's not well. <laughs> And they go, all right, we'll pass him on best wishes. He'll be all right tomorrow. I said, I think he will be. I just yeah. walk out. <laughs> <laughs> it took me ages to even register that. Well, well, who's who here? And then there's like, right, Jamie's got right it, and he's Jamie, yeah, yeah. and he's pretend. No. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. My, my mate's going vote and all that. Like, sort of what's, what's it like? What is it like? Obviously, you don't know what it's like to not have one. Yeah. But, like, is it weird at all? Or is it because I can't imagine. You are treated <laughs> as a duo a lot growing up, so everything's like it's to the twins. Or, it's the twins in it, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's all it is. Like the twins. I got. I, there's a thing. Are like, you like proper identical? Because you know, you get not some now. that aren't like but, as kids we were. So what proper? Like, why do you say not now? Why? We just change glasses as you get older, right. and he wears glasses. One's a bit he's chubby, less, maybe. He's in Sydney now. He's he's obviously got the sun tan and right, right. Okay, but the time, it's still completely at the match. Like been to <laughs> been to Anfield, and I because even though I'm an Evertonian as a kid, yeah. I would still go and watch Liverpool with my mates because yeah. it was just something to do. Just yeah, go, yeah, you go on the match. Go, right. yeah, go on the match. Yeah, and you can just pay on the gate. And I was remember being like on the cop. They played Arsenal. I said, I "Don't feel so good. I don't feel so good." And I just fainted. Right. And then in them days, they used to pass you down to the, uh, yeah, the Superman theme. Yeah. And then I went in St. John's Ambulance to give me two paracetamol. I said, if you would be all right. And I went, yeah, so I'll go back in. Then a week later, I went to Goodison. I'm on the bus and I went, oh, I feel terrible. I feel terrible. And he's going, oh, we're only about 13. And he went, we're not going home now. Because the deal was, we went the match, we went together. Yeah. And then let us go on the bus on our own, all that. And as soon as we got into like in the Gladys Street, and I went, I- I'm going to faint. I feel terrible. So he went friggin' hell. So he called the St. John's ambulance over. They put me on, and it turns out I had a, a appendicitis, right? So I got, rushed, I got rushed to all today. My brother yeah. he went, "Do you want me to go and get your brother?" Like when you're in the, in the room at the back at the park yeah. end, and I went, "Just put a just put a shout out." And he come and he went, "Just phone me mum." Like that. And so I've gone to all today. Like that, and then my mum turns up. My mum's there in in the house, and the, 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 they've led to the, the police go to the house, and she. It art sinks because there's two coppers coming yeah. up the path. Oh yeah. my god! And they go, uh, "We've come about your son at the match." And she goes, "Which one?" And she goes, "The thirteen-year-old." And goes, right. she goes, "They're both 13. <laughs> and they go, and "She goes, but we've got one in all today." She goes, well, "Where's the other one?" <laughs> goes, we don't know. And we both say, he stayed at the bloody match. Wow. Right. So, do you? If anything happens to you, have you got to say you best go and get that checked? Oh, like, uh, like it's so all because like, we my, my mates got the spleens and everything taken out. He's a bit what? more like uh, excess than me, my brother. So right. he smokes and that. He's like my canary in the mine. Right. So right. what he does, I, if I do a little bit less, I know I've got five years. Right. right. Okay. <laughs> oh, so my, my mates are twins. Like literally, one of them sp- like went in, had to get the spleen taken out, right. and he had, he had to go and go. You best get your, che- your, your spleen checked. You know. When I went, oh fuck, sake, all right. Went in, said, your spleens are literally get in, get in that room now. Your oh, spleens are about to yeah. explode. Like he literally operated on him like that. It's like no, you're sh-. and he, he's like, I was fine. No, I can't all imagine what it was only because like. he went the he went to doctors and he went. Yeah, you're gonna have to get your spleen. I can't out. imagine what it'd be like just seeing someone that looks like you in real. You know, because like, you're never oh, ever gonna see like yourself. Like you. oh, never, yeah. You're never gonna see yourself, are you? Right. Even a mirror or anything it doesn't yeah. matter. But to actually sit there and see you in full. Well, 
I just, I just love to see what that would be like. Because he's got a, like a clone a little, in it. It's fucking. He's got like a little bit of a belly, my brother. Right. So the same physique, but for the drinking. Just yeah. like, the, so when we we went out to Sydney, <coughs> like my son hadn't seen him. Right. I'd probably seen him when he was a baby, sort of thing, or a toddler. So he was about say six, seven at this point. And it, I always wore contact lenses. I'll, I mix it up now, but. So at the time, he goes, Uncle Lee, Uncle Lee, get in the pool, get in the pool, like that. And he goes, yeah, all right. So he takes his glasses off. And so now he looks like me, doesn't he? Yeah. Right, my yeah. lad. And then he takes his T-shirt off and he goes, oh, he goes, you look just like my daddy, but fat. <laughs> right. <laughs> he goes, I get you. Yeah. I, I, just, I just love it for a bit. And then, I, do you ever get fed, were you ever like fed up with it? Not really. You, you get used you to it. You can't. It's hard for, you can't fall out, can you? Like. It's, so like, it's like even worse, sort of things. Like I uh, did, like these to my because like they're like my two best mates, and when they fell out, uh, fucking the whole family was on my case. Like sh- sh- speak to them, sort that out. Why can't like, they fall out? Why aren't just because because they're twins? It's, it's just it's just a much. Like, it's like it's a bigger deal. The fact that they've fallen out, it? it's like. It's just, it's just, so, it's so, it's like so big. as you can get as the so like the fact, sisters, the fact that they, they weren't twin. speaking it's was like just mayhem. Like people couldn't get over it. Like when you have a brother, one of you's older, one of you's younger, and all that sort of stuff. So you, see, but whereas twins, yeah. you're literally brought up at the exact same time. So why is one gone so one way and one's gone the other? From yeah. day one, you don't know anything other than sharing. Are you similar yeah. in personality then? He's no, no. He's a lot. He's he's much more angry. <laughs> angry, oh, right. Yeah. Is he more outgoing or anything like that? Or well, say like the comics on the stream and not like, but yeah, yeah. So one's like, a comic and one mate, isn't. So like, yeah. Well, one of my mates, funny, one's yeah. more outgoing, ones. Oh yeah, yeah, probably. As yeah. they've got older, they've swapped. He's probably funnier. Yeah. yeah. Didn't yeah. mean that to sound rude to anyone. Probably yeah, but I mean like, <laughs> like why? Um, would you give him a loan? No. <laughs> you see what would happen like if the twins, you both raised, the, are you both equally talented in certain things like? Probably when you look back, it's sort of like just as achievements athletic, and, and all like that. that. Everything was there was no one who to was to become scary. a comic and then to not be a comic because it's it's quite a you know what I mean. Yeah, but he said he, when did he move to Sydney? Um, about fifteen years ago. Was it a big deal that he was going sort of thing? No, like splitting up. No, no, because he'd, he'd gone for a bit. He'd gone to Greece first, and then he right. in a way. So it was sort of like in stages, really. Right. Right, yeah. I have to get you both on the pod together. <laughs> I'd love that one. That'd be a good the clips. Yeah, like... yeah, 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 yeah. Just what's going on here? To Jamie. <laughs> no, who was who? Sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's well. funny. It is. It is a. It's a, like there's pictures of me as a baby and I don't know, or as a toddler, I don't know who's who. Yeah, right. There's, Obviously, I was going to say, it's been 15 years now, sort of thing. Did you still get mixed up with like, people who've known you your whole life, sort of thing? There'll, still be, pe- there'll be people that'll come Obviously up and have a now, conversation like, with yeah, me. Thinking. Thinking I'm him. Yeah. And I <laughs> go along with that. Yeah. yeah. Whereas he Rather doesn't, just, yeah. he'll just go, I've never met you before in my life. Right. And they go, oh, well, that's nice. And then next time <laughs> I see them, they're like, oh, you've got a bit of an attitude problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, I did that You'd want to fuck with them just saying to the mates, yeah. send them a selfie. Is this you? being on King Street in Wigan and this girl come up, man, how are you doing? And I went, what? <laughs> she went, what? Yeah. She, how, are you, how are you doing? All that, you know, I was chatting this week. I went, I, I, I don't know who you are. Yeah. She, you don't know who I am? Oh, that's, and she's giving like that. Yeah, it could I mean, get I mean, quite. I said, I, said, I said, have we ever met? And then she slapped me. She's calling me also. So there's obviously someone yeah. other new this girl. And I'm thinking, <laughs> I said I've never and a mate to them getting stuck in. Never met you. It's like the hypothetical we got asked about if we swap yeah. bodies, what would we do to fuck the other one's life up? <laughs> do you know what I mean? So if he went, I'm called Jamie, and then treated like shit for a week, and then yeah. left, and he goes, "Are you Jamie?" And he goes, "Yeah." You fucking dickhead trying to pretend you don't know who I am now. Like you could really fuck with the other one, couldn't you? Like you've really got to try and trust each other because you could just go, "I'm gonna just gonna fuck his life up now." I'm gonna. I look exactly like it. I'm gonna treat this girl like shit and say I'm Jamie, and then she thinks she's called Jamie. Yeah. Do you know how when you like police pulled you over, like you ever get them for speed and be like, just give his details in? I should do now, shouldn't I? Because he lives in Australia, so he just kept his details. Oh my 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 uncle done that to me dad all the time, and they were two years apart. Still, just cause, just because he knew his date of birth, you know, back in the day. Yeah, but you could, that's all you had to give in. It's like, yeah, yeah, I lived there, like, lived there, do that. Here's my date of birth, sort of thing. Oh dad, yeah, our kids doing it to me. He's yeah. not a twin, like two years younger, but he's he's given my name when we had the license. Just I've been collared for stuff, picked up, and yeah. Just because <laughs> like, what happens then in that situation? 
We had to well figure. Go and argue with Tosh. Well, 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 no, but you, you, but it's, 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 it's me and our kid because we was on the rampage together. So when we was when <laughs> you was couldn't that, keep track of who's done <laughs> what. No, but what we do is yeah, I might have done that officer. To be fair, yeah. yeah. But what you do is like we'd be if we'd got like arrested together for summer. It's usually something petty, and was on the way to like in the back of the van on the back of the police car or something like that. I'd say to our kid, what you've got? And he'd say, well, I've got this warrant, I've got that, I'm up at court on Tuesday. Right, yeah. So we'd weigh up, we'd weigh who's up who's got the worst, and then the other yeah. one texts him. So sometimes I've, I've, I've done detention centre for stuff I've not even done. I'll be and honest, Sam, me yeah. walking into college saying I'm not coming in doesn't seem as like, <laughs> no, thrilling no, now. No. Because every time Sam's on this podcast, someone's he's got a similar story to someone else, and that is one. It's always just that little bit more. There's a detention centre yeah. involved. No. no, but the thing is, it was just, it was obviously, I mean, the problem was, I mean, bro, it was just, you just needed a drink and the drugs, you know what I mean? Yeah. You needed that. I mean, one time, I don't know if I told you this. Was your brother's bad on it as you? Oh, my dad, alcohol killed. Alcohol killed my dad. My dad drank, and I I have got two brothers, no, a brother, two sisters, who go to AA as well. None of them had. I've had. I've not had a drink for like twenty three years. Then my sisters next ten years, twelve. Yeah, alcohol and our family don't just don't just, just does not mix. get on. They reckon it comes from trauma. I mean, it was fucking nuts childhood. <laughs> but one time, I was rattling and shaking on a Sunday, proper, like, gagging for a drink. No money. Proper Sundays as well. Not yeah. like Sundays now, do you know what I mean? <laughs> proper, you know, you know, proper Sundays. And all that. And we thought, what are going to do? And there's now open. There's nothing open, but we needed we needed some money. Do you know what I mean? This should have been about 1980, 87 or something like that. Proper rattling and shaking for a drink. But, but the planning was after fun. Yeah. After plan was the fun. Just get yourself out yourself. And my mum had broke a leg. Um, a week before she was out, my mum and whatever was going on and all that sort of stuff. So we had a wheelchair. So we had this. We had this wheelchair. Hang on, it's just out. What happened? My mum with the leg break. No, I think she just. I don't know. I can't remember how she did it. Felt something happened. Nothing untoward. Right, okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just seen if there's anything to go into. No, 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 nothing. No, nothing. Like somebody just came and kneecapped her because. <laughs> no, no, nothing. No, nothing. Because like her brother it, gave it her details. Very, it was very um, trying to do a snatch. No, it was very petty. So, but oh, my mum won't like. Do you know right. what I mean? That, that, that was all above board. But we, do you know, we need we needed a drink. You need a drink. You need a drink. So we had this wheelchair. So was, so what? Gonna, but what there was open then was garages. And you sell quite a lot of stuff. So there was a yeah. garage down this road where we used to live, about two miles away. There was this garage. So there's the garage there, and there's a, we've got a wheelchair. So this is what we're going to do, right? One of us is going to go in the wheelchair with a blanket over him. The other one's going to push him into the garage, and we're going to see what we can get from the garage. You're not going to that's question what, a wheelchair that, person. Well, that's the you? thing. You don't, right? No. But we went the old hog as well. I've just got a weird not, body. No, but not just we, we won't. We couldn't Under just go. We couldn't just go with the broken leg in the wheelchair. We had to go with not very well in the wheelchair. Yeah, right? really not very well. Oh, Lay it off. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so proper like oh, proper thing is. The shakes, it can't be the ale. So we have to do then. So we have to decide to do it. So we have to have, have a little gamble. Who's going to go in the wheelchair and who's going to go? Who's going to push him in? So it was papers is a stone, right? I lost. I'm in the wheelchair. So it was like the blanket over yeah. Air messed up, dinner down, yeah? yeah. Do you know, d dinner and all that? Because we know no one likes looking at anyone in a wheelchair, do they? Yeah. You look, oh, you make a noise. Yeah. You make a noise. Yeah. The woman's going <laughs> to yeah. look away and you're going to fill your, <laughs> and you're gonna fill your boots. <laughs> but bad laughers as well, really bad laughers. Right. Like bad laughers. So, so you got that, schizophrenia as well as fucking <laughs> stage four <laughs> bowel cancer. <laughs> really bad, really bad laughers. Bad, Does bad laughers. always clink when he laughs like that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, honest to God. And it was, um, so, it was, so it was outside the was outside the garage and the thing is the, the thing is he's not getting the stuff it's getting getting away then so you've got this big long road yeah. you're on the phone you're on the do you know what I mean it's get, that's the thing Tell how them long till they realise so, well that's it so, yeah. we're, we're, so we're out there so, so we're outside the, the garage at the side of it and I'm, but he's looking at me. He's laughing. I said, "Listen, we need to get our laughs. Just get your laughs out now. Just get, get your the laughs." Original out. Little Britain needs to, <laughs> Lou and Andy. And you can't get your laughs out when you need to get your laughs out, can you? Do you know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah, so, he push, so he pushes me in there near these like yeah. I don't know if you remember the old TDK <laughs> yeah. Walkmans. So there's like a, there's like a Christmas tree of them. There's turtle wax socket sets. You know, we've hit the jackpot. Do you know what I mean? So he pushes me right near these. I've got the blanket on me, making noises, but trying not to laugh. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> giving it all that. I know, terrible. Terrible. I'm not proud of this. Right? It's pretty good, so, though, so, to so, be so, fair. So yeah, our, then our kid goes to the counter. So basically, all the batteries are behind the woman. 
So he's going to ask about batteries because she's going to turn around. Right. So how much would you know? Giving all that sort of stuff. So <laughs> as he's doing that, I'm getting these socket sets, turtle wax, you know, all sorts of crap under that. You're not going to be blanket. By the time he got back to me, the fucking blanket, the blanket was up. Here. <laughs> <laughs> There's that much fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's bullying out. He's bullying me out of the shop. There's fucking chalk ices falling out. <laughs> everything, <laughs> everything. So then. <laughs> So we're laughing, do you know what I mean? Keeping an eye on the woman and all that sort of stuff. Then eventually, so, so we just ended up doing it. It's got a bit safe, wrapped it all up like, you know, like fucking Dick yeah, Wiggins. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just left the wheelchair and just then made it through the back alleys and all that <laughs> sort of stuff. But it was, it was the planning, then you're drinking again, do you know what I mean? It was... Um, Did you not think it's just Rob and Ale? No, like I said, there's, there's, there's nothing There's nothing, nothing open. Because the thing is then, it got... It, at that point, it was that point where, so I suppose... Before the rave scene kicks off, so in, in 88, then the booze tapered a bit then because she was more, it was more pills and everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? You drink, have a few pills. Yeah. Then you'd have, um, the, then you drink to come down off yeah. off your thing. But up to then, you wanted to be out. Do you know what I mean? Right. You yeah. wanted to be out, so you wanted, wanted to get out. But that would have been the sensible thing to do, just stock up loads of booze. But you, you had a, it was... I can't believe you went yeah. round the garage pretending to be half dead. Yeah, to pretending to be Vomiting on yourself. Yeah. It was absolutely lat like, trying not corpsing God. around the oh, fucking God. garage. I mean, that is just no, well, so I remember, funny. I remember one time. I remember one time. One time. Why? You know, once it worked, why would you throw the wheel to get away? Yeah, why keep that. Why would you be like, oh, like, oh, oh, use no, that again? It's, 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 it's no good to you, is it? You, you're done then. It's everything's instant, isn't it? It's disposable. It's no good. It's, right. I suppose that's it's the way done. you've lived. You've you lived be, your life yeah, by the yeah, sides of it. You're not thinking there's another shop. Think of the next scam next. It's disposable. I mean, one time, we just just got a welly club. In like um, 88, so I was beginning the rave scene yeah. from, the, from the start, do you know what I mean? When it was proper, no more Bob Pons and all that sort of stuff. But I could never keep me drugs. So I had two doves back in the day. That, that They were the, you know what I mean? Yeah. Doves were dove. That was it. 15 quid each, you're done. Just one of them, you're done. Anyway, so I had two and was in the sh- was in Shire Ross in Hull. And it was about, I don't know, about a 15 minute walk to the club. So it's about seven o'clock, having a few scoops, but it's just burning it all in my pocket. Yeah. So I think, yeah. oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have this first one on the, on the walk up. I'm going to have the first yeah. one on the walk up. So, anyway, so I'm just coming, so I had in the toilet, bang, and all that sort of stuff. I had my first one. As soon as I walked out with Shire, straight into the arms of the police, Sam Harland, or an out for your arrest, right? I just snacked this pill. I've got another on my hand. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, God, what am I going to do this one on my hand? Not the one I've done. So in the back of the police car and all that sort of stuff, didn't handcuff me, thank God. Neck this other pill. By the time was in, was, was, we got to the custody suite, these two pills are kicking in together. Yeah. So you can imagine, do you know what I mean? I thought I was going to get charged for hugging the desk sergeant. <laughs> honest to God, I was off my fucking tits. It was it was the best time, of, one of the best times I've ever in my life in this police, in the cell. I just felt euphoric, do you know what I mean? <laughs> it was just absolutely fantastic, do you know what I mean? And it just dead, went dead quick and I was out again. But yeah. <sighs> That's how we rolled. Oh, well. So what have you been busy doing? I, I was meaning to ask that at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> we never got round to it. You said you've been busy and then you just sort of never got well, into was, it. Was, was, it was, it was in Hollyhead one with you the week, Jamie. You went to Hollyhead. That was all right, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a good gig, that. That was a good gig. Just doing... Um, Hollyhead. I, I, I was there last week. So it was a cricket club. Was it No, football club. Football club, yeah. And this girl asked me to... Uh, we had a little room down the side, didn't we? And yeah. then further on was the... Just the two-hander, you two. The, uh, Phil Chapman. Oh, Chappers. Uh, so it wasn't a Jamie Sutherland gig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And as I've come outside, I get a signal. This girl came out the toilet, didn't she? And she went, "You button me up." I went, "What? Oh, why?" I. I said, "Is she? Was she? Was she Peng?" No. Said, oh, come know. on, Jamie. Yeah. Come. <laughs> you're on this pod now. You go. Guess what? She, we may not with me. And I said, it's not a good Scared look, is it? It's over it there. It's said, not a good look. Said, it's not a good look. I said, if your boyfriend or husband comes down, they see it now. I said, and I'm buttoning you up. You've got to act fast, Jamie. Said, like Sam, you're in and out. Yeah, boom, boom. Stop thinking, yeah. will you? I'll <laughs> button you up. Yeah. So I buttoned it up. I'll grab at the same time. Hey, what, me? What you did? Me and twin. An hour later, we meet again. <laughs> yeah. Because she didn't realise at that point. You buttoned me up. I wrong. was a comedian. And she forgot to factor in. She was sat on the front row. Right, okay. So she walked out, and I, was, I walked out, and she went off. <laughs> and her mate's like, What? And I was saying, No, how bad it is. I've got to that age where women like look at my face and go, 
He'll he'll dress me. Yeah. You're safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surely <laughs> at your age you're thinking yeah. if anyone you don't want to dress you that because our generation are getting the me too. The, oh, oh, well, that's the historic ones for you guys. Yeah, it was funny though. Not he said I've just, he said he come out and they look at the shock on his face and he said and he said to her I've just buttoned her up half an hour ago I buttoned her up and they're all sat <laughs> laughing. He goes I probably got fucking monkeypox and everything. <laughs> I'm saying she was a young girl. She was mid twenties. Oh. Trusted your dad vibes. Yeah, yeah granddad was, vibes. Yeah, granddad vibes. Yeah, it was good. I, I went to him. I'll have him well. off. I, if, he, if, he, if he starts, I reckon I could chin him. <laughs> yeah, it was decent gig. I went to see him. I, I, it's not usually someone I'd go and see, but a ticket came up for nothing. It was in a box. My mate's got a few quid. I'm like the poor relation with my mates, and went to see him. You're the poor relation with everyone, so yeah, pretty much. Uh, at least we've got a credit card. <laughs> yeah, and. Um, Anyway, it's not even Rob Thomas anymore, is it? It's Bobby Bobby T. Is that the name now? Ah, oh, Bobby name he T. Is. Where do you think he's doing this is that podcast? His name? He thinks he's, he's doing Bobby the T. podcast down fucking. Do you know what I mean? Down San Francisco, or somewhere like that. <laughs> We're in a fucking industrial <laughs> estate in Chester. Yeah, Bobby T. Say? What is this? Was what? it my act? Van Morrison. Oh, oh, I watched him last August. What? I aspire I to be. He was one angry man. Mate. I <laughs> he's one I honestly, angry is he brown eyed girl yeah, yeah. Yes. I, asp- I watched him and I went I wish I was him we were in the queue see if it, see if it correlates with your story at the Ap- Apollo I, he got to the point I saw he was on tour and I said to Vicky if we don't watch him now this time round the chances of him touring at his age are going to get less I said so let's right. do it his songs are great you know what I mean I knew he was angry I knew how he was that wasn't going to put me <laughs> off it was in. I put me on. So <laughs> I'm in the queue. I'm in the queue. Half a lot of drinks. Half a lot of drinks. Brown eyed girl. Yeah. They sold. They sell the drinks. Black eyed girl. Two pints, don't they? Two mm-hmm. pint glass. I went. Well, I'll have two of them. All. So I had two two pinters. <laughs> and this fellow went. Have you watched them before? It's like five to eight. And I'm next to get saved or one in front of me. So I went. No, I've never seen him. And he went. Trust me. He says if Van Morrison says he's on at eight, he's on at eight. Eight. He said if it's a ninety minute show. He's done it half nine. <laughs> so I said to my wife, go in. Because she really wants to see Sounds him. Sounds like a cruise game. Because you want to be like at the match. No, you're at the match. Yeah. You want to see him come out. And she was yeah. really waited. So I said, go on, you go in. I've got like the drinks. And as I'm going through the door with the drinks, he, he went, he's Van Morrison. And he, he walks on. His band's already on stage. Walks yeah. on, gets there. Starts singing. The only time he spoke <laughs> was at the 90 minute mark when he went, Good night. I'm wow. <laughs> Yeah. He never said hello. You know what that means? Good evening. He weren't even singing. Yeah. He was miming the whole fucking he thing. He never says anything, Do does you know, he? Well, the thing, same thing happens. We walked in there. And, and <laughs> How so, old is he? So we went to the Philip. Seventies. We went to the Philharmonic. We walked in there. It's not something I usually go, but a ticket came up. Now it's now for a ticket. I thought, yeah, I'll have a bit of that. Walked in there. As soon as we got there, security stopped us. Almost out of desperation, and says, "Excuse me," he said, "You what?" Please do not take a photo. Please, do, <laughs> please do not record. He will walk. He will walk straight on. He's in a wheelchair, pretending to be As soon as he came on, he didn't say hello. He didn't say anything. Walk, he, would, he, he would as well. He didn't say hello. He started playing a song. The guitarist was here looking at him. The, the, the band were terrified of him. They were terrified of him. The guitarist, lead guitarist, was just looking at him all the time. <laughs> He Open he stays on. I have never seen I, I have never seen a band run from instrument to instrument because you don't give them no time. No. They were running. And like they that. changed the sheet. There's a sheet of paper with the words yeah. for the songs. And they oh, all sh- moved their quick and moved the sheets. And shitting the because cells. if he starts, <laughs> he's starting a song. And you better be ready to You'll start because be he's starting. Do you know the only Because he's doing 90 minutes and no more. That's and that's what he did. Fabulous! I know, I he me. did ninety minutes, and the only thing he said, which was very aggressive, ticket. very aggressive, it was there was this intro going on, all that sort of stuff, and he's just there with his glasses, just <laughs> he looked straight ahead, done, he just going like that, just doing that straight ahead looking, <laughs> and he turned round, he turned round and shouted. It's the only thing he said. He <laughs> shouted at the guitarist, "Play the rift, play the rift." The guitarist went, just started playing the rift. Yeah. Nutcase, lunatic. Good songs, though. <laughs> good, yeah, it was good songs. I know, songs. brown eye girl, but I like the sound of watching I, 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 it. I, I like how on a knife edge it can be. If someone said to me, don't take a photo or film it, I'm going, 
I'm fucking. No, yeah. someone's yeah. going to happen. I waited yeah. 80 minutes. And yeah, I'm yeah. Going. whatever you do, don't look in, in the box. What's in the yeah. box? <laughs> I'm going to play brown eyed girl. As soon as you feel brown eyed girl, come on. Bang. It's nice to go and watch that. Flash on. Boof. It's nice to go and watch something now and again in Eric's Do you know the last time I went somewhere before this? Here's this story for you. Is right. we've got time, right? How long does this podcast go off? We're, we normally do about an hour and a half. But yeah, here's one for you. I've got my I've told, 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 Sam hasn't told the Ricky Atten story yet. Yeah, well, 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 my mate, it ties in. He comes in with stories, doesn't he? Tells it, me, yeah. I've yeah. got to get this out before I go. Well, it's it, Tyson Fury. It, 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 it turns out, um, oh, that'd be good it ties into the Empire because I don't go out a lot to watch anything, but when see right. cats at the Empire, and I'll tell you. I don't know. I'll tell you the story. Anyway, I've got my mate. It's called Kid McCauley, Boxer Colin, we call him. And he was Ricky Atten's first fight. He was Ricky Atten's first fight. Um, he was down on his luck, um, Col. He hadn't fought for years. You the turned t- and listened to a Bon Jovi song? No, no. We're halfway <laughs> there. Johnny used to work. Colin used to work on the docks. It's a Van right? song, don't start Colin used to work. Colin used to work on the docks. He didn't. Anyway, so he was drinking. And he, and he, do you know his career had gone tits up? He'd 54 losses. And he was going <laughs> to take it. Was, they eventually took his license off him for his own safety. Fucking hell. So picture it. Seek him. Girlfriend gone. Down on his luck. Right. 54 losses. 54 losses. Down. You can Google this. Kid McCauley. Good mate of man. It took some bottle getting in there. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely. Oh, so yeah. anyway, so he's, in, so he's, he's sat in his flat. Damn, really hard time. Skin. Drinking um, special brew. Smoking a joint. Gets a phone call off his agent. He says, Cole, got a fight for you. He said, listen, I've not been in the gym for months. He says, I'm done in. I'm down on my luck. He Perfect. Says, <laughs> he, says, next, he, says, he said, next week, he said, I've got a fight for you. He says, I'm not, but he needs the money. He said, we've got a couple of grand here. He said, well, always, who am I fighting? Danny who am I fighting? Williams, he? And he said, um, who am I fighting? And he said, new lad. Never heard of him. Manchester, it's his first fight. Just got a couple of rounds, you know what I mean? Show a bit of willing. Do you know what I mean? Do you know a couple of... Oh God! I'm, you know he's proper down on his luck and all this sort of stuff. And it was it was at the uh, arena or sports centre in Widness. I can't remember what it was called. God, that's bleak. So he gets back. He gets goes down there on the back of his mate's motorbike, on the back of his mate's motorbike. And he says to me, he says, "Sam, I couldn't understand it." I said, "What do you mean?" He said, "I walked in there. This kid's first fight. No one's heard of the kid. Might have his mum and dad, a couple of friends with him. The full the full venue. Ah, ten, ah, ten. He said, he just thought, what's going on here? So he was straight to his trainer. He said, well, what's going on here? What's this, that, and that. And he says, oh, he's got a bit of a following, this lad, and all this sort of stuff. And he says, oh, all right. He said, so the commentator comes up on the telly. I think it was Sky or something like that. Hey, this kid McCauley has only had a couple of months notice for this fight. He had, he had about five days, you know what I mean? He was smoking yeah, weed and on the tennis, you know what I mean? A couple of days before. Anyway, he gets up there and he said, it was, shocking, he said it, it was absolutely hideous. He said, what? He said, I wanted to go down, but his punches were keeping me up. Right. Oh. <laughs> he said it was like being in a fight. He said, it's only happened to me twice. I can't remember the other boxer's name, but Atten was the second one. It was like fighting in a telephone box. He said, I couldn't keep away from him. He said, I managed to get through the first round, went into his corner, puked up in the bucket, just vomited in the bucket. And he thought, oh my God, I'm going to just get down sharpish. You know, do that one, you know, yeah. go down on one knee, get to 10, stand up dead quick, call it off. Anyway, he looked into the corner, like, and, he, and you know, his trainer's doing like the sign of the cross. <laughs> Not one of them. <laughs> Ed done him. <laughs> but he ended up, but he did all right off it. He did Surely right. he doesn't have a trainer. He's had five <laughs> days now. <laughs> <laughs> Who's you know, his trainer? Unbelievable. <laughs> the Voltamag <motorbike> driver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But he did all right. He did all right out the deal. He did all right out the deal because every time Atten had a fight, the newspapers wanted to talk to his first fight. Of course. So they get in touch with Cole. So the mirror, various newspapers, some we don't mention, got in touch with him. Yeah. And so he'd get a few he'd get a few quid. Do you know what I mean? Right. And he was going to earned it with fifty five losses in fuck yeah. And years later, years later, there was a Ricky and dinner, I think it was in Manchester or somewhere like that. And he'd just gone as a a whatever, he'd put a lot of weight on this, that and the other. And he would just went in there and he's having a slash in the toilets and all this sort of stuff and someone come next to him and they were staring at him. Someone was staring at him. And he goes and it was Ricky and trainer. And he goes, I know you don't I he says, Oh you probably do. He says, Oh he says, Oh kid McCauley. He said you was I were Ricky's first fight. He said, yes, get in here. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, he got a bit clap in the middle, a big fuss of him and all yeah, that. Nah. But what ties into the story is... Van Morrison Cole. was the walkout music. <laughs> Cole, yeah, Boxer sorry. Colin, he loved cats. He had loads of... I don't know why. Yeah. He just loved cats. And one day, and he, he met this girl, and he says, we're going to go off to watch Cats at the Empire. Do you want to go and watch it? I thought, so there's a few of us. I thought, Cats of the Empire. He knew all the songs and all that. I know it's weird. <coughs> so, we went to, so we went to the Empire. So we sat there and all this sort of stuff. Obviously quite beautiful. 
So I thought, yeah, well, might as well watch it and all this sort of stuff. And as we were sat there, <laughs> I'll never forget this as long as I live. So Col- Cole's there and his missus is there and there's someone else with us. I think Cockney Jim was with us or someone like that. And so we're sat there and it's all the nice and nice people coming in. And this family, this family came in, obviously from Formby or somewhere like that. Young girl, about six, little bonnet on, lovely dress. Young lad, little you mi- little like um, do you know waistcoat on and all that. Young lad, about nine. Mum and dad, do you know, probably it just oozing class. You know, I'm bordering on royalty, sat in front of us and all this sort of stuff. So I thought, oh, this is this is nice, isn't it? So I'm next to Cole. And anyway, the show's just about to start. Anyway, Cole just he just he just like this little manoeuvre. Just sort of cocked his leg off, thought he was going to fart. He was going to fart, right? <laughs> anyway, he, he fart. He didn't make no noise whatsoever. He didn't make no noise. But this this smell, this <laughs> this smell, which I could, it was, oh I could my not, God. it was abs- it was, it was, it, it was like, do you know what it, it was like? Shit. It, it was, it was, it was, <laughs> it was like every, he, he shot himself <laughs> in the earth, it was it? like every disappointment, every knockout, every, 54, every girl that losses. dumped him, every, every uppercut he'd taken, everything, whatever happened to him in his life, it's just sort of formulated in this gas. So it stunk. And it ready to be released. Anyway, farted and this smell, this smell came out his ass, right? Right. <laughs> Drifted over to this family in front, and this six-year-old girl just burst into tears, <laughs> unconsolably sobbing. And the father had her, the father had her like that, and he did the half look behind, but, but he didn't want to. He didn't want to look proper behind. The girl started crying. Jesus! She, she was, for the first ten minutes of the show, she was just sobbing unconsolably. And talk about, you know, do you know, even with that such this. Just purest venue and the pure family yeah. and all that Satan will find a way. How do you, know, how do you know it was that? It it because it couldn't not have been. It just it, it came just had up to be that, and it went, and she just burst into tears. And we've talked, <laughs> and we've oh, talked about it ever since. It was hideous. <laughs> Armageddon had come out of his ass. Armageddon. Honestly, is that God. the worst thing you've ever smelled? It was. Do you know what? It was so awful. It's it was almost <laughs> sweet. Do you know when it's so like so bad, it's almost like sweet. What? Almost enjoying he made, it. He's made a, a young girl cry <laughs> with a fart, sob with a fart. I mean that, that is, mixed with I the mean, cologne of the family yeah. just made it smell so. Why did he try that? Do you know what I mean? Why did he try that when he was boxing? I know. Right, my no fucking look. Sure. Ricky Hatton just stuck to stop in a fight for the minute. Give me a minute, please. <laughs> some bit, some, <laughs> there's some stories like UFC fighters not washing for like four weeks, isn't there? Yeah, before, before a fight, fight and yeah. all that. And like, there was like, yeah, the old mayor or something like actually shat himself, like would shit, would shit really? his, his pants so that it stunk. I was watching Bisping's videos and that, and I think he said one of these fighters would like shit themselves in the in the green room in the the locker room or something before they come out. So the pants stink as shit. So when you're fighting them, oh. it's just nasty and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Just like um, we haven't got time for tight. T- what's we'll the t- save t- it next time? Next Sound. time, no problem. Okey doke. Right, Sam. Where can we find you? Well, you've been busy, but we don't know what what with. But we'll find out at some other point. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Got anything to plug? Um. Uh, I always like to plug the comedy lounge in Hull. If you're in the area, get yourself there. I'll be there at the end of July as well. Oh, the Vale Hotel down Coldman Street. In July. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. See you there. I'm there in July. Yeah. Oh. This, might, this might be the line. <laughs> we'll see you there, yeah. Come <laughs> we'll on, we'll sort it out, mate. <laughs> sort it out. Yeah. Yeah. Middle for diddle. <laughs> um, right, so that's it, yeah. Comedy you, lounge. Jamie? Just get Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Got a podcast. All usual. Podcast, Finding Funnies. Steve. Steve, Steve Royal. Royal. BGT. Swear Free. Where we call <laughs> some Swear Free. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. our thing. That's yeah. what our audience love as well. Yeah. 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 They do Wholesome, <laughs> Swear Free, Low Free, Good Credit Scores. Yeah. With Steve Royal, Britain's Got Talent runner up. Yeah. Previous runner up, because obviously last night he's lost his title. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Fodder yeah. now, isn't he? Just on the BGT fodder Don't. pile now. Is that why he's not here tonight? That's he just could, couldn't take the rejection? Yeah. Right. So what answer. are you on socials? Uh, James Sutherland's on Twitter. You get me on Twitter and everything's on there. And find the funniest one. No problem. Sweet. Awesome. Sounds to the Patreon. Nice one. Ta-da. Ta-da.